Hello, 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 it is Monday. Oh, Monday, <laughs> I forgot to unpause. <laughs> it's Monday, hello, Blue, hello, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it's Monday, AKA gin time. This was just for you. I saw you were in chat, I'm like, you know what, let's just Put the camera on Jin, like all zoomed in. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, last time, the community. This time, community. Uh, there was a side quest somewhere in here because I looked at the map trying to find a good place to start. Down here? Somebody had a side quest in here. Who? You do. Hello. Yay! I'm looking respectfully. Respectfully is the key word there. Lawrence and ladies, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was wondering if you can help me with something. Uh, sure. Uh, Prince Adam on uh, the campaign decided uh, Gorma, given Ardanian Titan, is showing signs of decline. Even 500 years ago, the Ardanian Titan was declining? That's kind of crazy. I plan to air my opinion on the future of both our countries. Our conference was the uh, flagship Gorma. Not arrived. What? White chair. Uh, I have a red chair that I'm not sitting in. Uh, <laughs> it's necessary to pass through the hoary well. Dangerous place. We assume something happened to the envoy there. However, we do not have the military resources to mount a full search of the hoary well. Therefore, I thought I must be. I must be. I must be burdening. 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 Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Burden you with this request. Go to hoary well. Search Gorma envoy. Other option. I cannot speak I to save my life. To we'll set this as an active quest. Where are we gonna go? Uh, alright. Uh, oh. I was literally, like, just there. Because, uh, after stream last week, I just kind of went around looking for, like, enemies people wanted to kill and finding landmarks and locations. And also, that also included, also, 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 hold on. Uh, that included, uh, uh, opening some treasure chests. So now, Bridget I'll investigate. has level 3 lockpicking. So, there we go. So many chests have been cock-blocked from me because I did not have level 3 lockpicking. Well, guess what, bitches? I can open anything now, ha ha ha. At least as long as I have all the requirements, anyway. Anyway, let's go back up here. <laughs> let's go up here. <clears throat> Our wits about us. Hello. How? Hello, come at the right time, Lasham Cove. A uh, white chair in a hurry. Again, I have a red chair that I am currently not sitting in right now. Uh, still nowhere to be seen. Worrying forest full of danger. A uh, forest full of danger? World full of danger? Where? That's further away. This way? This way. There's something here. Here we are, going far to save all that we love. We give what we got, we will make it through. Ah. Here we are, what? like a star, shining bright on your That's world not... today. Make evil go away. Do not let us near any of my valuable <laughs> saves. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Don't worry, everything is fine. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, back there. I have everything under control. Don't worry about it. Help! Okay, envoy attendance. Yeah, let's take him out. Let's kill them. Tessa will lockpick them. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely I will. Oh, I have Jin. Okay. I'm like, who am I playing? Oh, God, I'm dead! Help me! I was just flat out dying. Uh, I died. I died! Um, we'll need to take a 
different approach this time. We must not let this stop us. Let's... Yeah. Yeah. Let's this do that instead. Let's do that instead. If, can I... Sure. Grab the thingy, please? Thank you. Uh, anyway. How was everyone's weekend? Uh, my weekend was this not, like, crazy eventful, but it was a nice weekend. We picked up, we did, we did pick up Jamboree. This is becoming Super Mario Party Jamboree. Expert. And me and my husband played it for a little bit, uh, Saturday night. Uh -oh. I think and... Uh, it was, it was pretty fun, the little bit that we played. And, um, we, I will only say this, because I don't want to talk too much about it, because, again, I do plan on playing it on stream at some point. Um, I will say, Toad is no longer invited. Toad is no longer invited to the party. I, that's all I will really say. Gravita. We do the thing. We do the ice, ice baby. And then we do the button presses. We level up. See, look at us do good. We're doing the good. We're doing the good in the world. See, we're doing amazing. There's more? Oh, wait, there's more. Did you jam his burry? What the heck is that supposed to mean, Blue? Can you please elaborate? <laughs> Care to elaborate? Flop! Thank you! Right. Oh, I should have gone heat first. Oh, well, it's fine. Everything is fine. There's a lot happening right now, isn't it? Well, I don't even- I've lost- I've lost the plot. I have lost the plot entirely. What is, is it ice? Is it ice? Is the oh? I can't even check anyway. Cool. Anyway, ice. Boop. And just keep swapping. We're swapping. We're flip flopping. We're kicking its ass. I have to. Hooray. In its world, it's jam or be buried. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> you saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, honey, valuable. Ardanians. Anything else? We're good. It's fine. Special envoy. <gasps> anyway. Aren't we intrepid? Makes a fine Nature! I'm getting some use out of but yeah, um... Yeah, Jamboree was, uh, pretty fun. Is there anything, like, special back here? I have to know. There is a treasure chest back here. It's a good thing I checked, and guess what? You're level two! Alright. All right. All right. I mean, just from like the first little bit I played of Jamboree, I already have like opinions. But again, army. I'll talk the, I'll talk about those later. It's fine because I want to play the game a little bit more like sure. on my own, and by on my own, I mean like off stream, so I can figure out what the hell I'm doing. Which Aren't again is perfect, of course, for me. Cause like me not knowing what I'm doing, ha! <laughs> I mean that's just my current See, state of being. I, I never know what I'm do doing. It. I said breaking open this box. Ha ha ha, losers! I need to go back to the camp, and we will go back to the camp. <laughs> Even on familiar ground, hello. We must Yay, I helped you. Go back to bro so you can talk about stuff. And now I gotta go back to bro so we can go talk about stuff. <laughs> because talking. My least favorite activity. Depends on the person, honestly. <clears throat> I needed a 
needed a drink. Sometimes you just need a drink. Food afternoon? I mean, yes, I did just finish eating lunch. Wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Hello, Johnny. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. I solved your problem. I mean, it is lunchtime. My time zone, anyway. So. Seeing troops in the Aegis on to mention State of Affairs in Mordain and Gormon. All rest seems to be heading for a period of unrest. Oh, uh, you'd like to hear your opinion on working together to overcome the hardships facing our two countries. All right, look at Hugo being a good leader. The impressions of the Melosian honey that was so difficult to obtain. Honey, what's this all about? <laughs> honey? I just, <laughs> growing up, I, we had a lot of McDonald's and um, I usually eat my uh, honey, eat my honey. No, I eat my nuggets with honey. I dip them in like regular old honey. And anytime they have asked what my, they asked my dad when he would order for me, um, I'm like, what kind of sauce would you want? And my dad would say, honey, and I ain't flirting with you either. And then uh, everyone in the car would groan. <laughs> I always laughed at it. Maybe that's why my sense of humor is the way it is, because it's uh, modeled after my dad. <laughs> All right, required for next level 15. So we need 15 more community members to go beat the game, but I feel like you might as well just do everything. I don't know, because there's like quests that don't open up to like community level after four is One reached. Less problem in the world. So we'll figure that out. All right. Um, have I really explored around here? I don't even know if I really have. Oh yeah, there's that. Oh, I can't go in there? Rude. Rude. <laughs> uh, uh, that way. Thanks us in here. And... Yeah, I never really explored back here because, uh, yeah, when we came here, the game was like, you can't go back here yet. You gotta do the cutscene first. Or so you gotta talk to everyone. Like, or like, Adam's not that way. Or maybe this was where he was. I don't know. What do you mean there's no, like, chest here? <laughs> there's no spoils here. That is just absolutely rude. Honestly, if you ask me. Uh nothing here so let us head back over to Torna um, surely there's got to be stuff in capital right surely never heard of combining chicken nuggets with honey I feel like a lot of people are like that I grew up with that and a jump later. but like a lot of people are like you oh honey well, mustard because anytime I vigilant. tell McDonald's that's usually what gets confused you know it's like oh you said honey but how about honey mustard when that is definitely not what I wanted. Oh, you're over here. Hello? Meme, do not suppose there is any chance that friends are mighty heroic warriors. Moro Moro, or Marumo, is in charge of shopping wards, so good judge of character become a kind second nature. Yes, a clear and cloudless sky now, friends, just the, just the heroes Marmo. Marumo? Oh, I cannot read your name. I'm sorry, buddy. I am butchering it. I apologize. Uh, Gogol started taking up residence in Pilgrim Springlands. Oh. Oasis, no more place for resty rest. Make usual cargo route many, much times longer. And one thing now very clear, Moromo, now on verge of financial meltdown. Oh, I feel that. Friends have no idea dire straits are for Moromo. So dire, deeply dire, Moromo drowned pillow in tears at night. Moromo wants friends to chase nuances. Goggles out of Oasis. Okay, nuisance goggles out of Oasis. Okay. I, I butchered all of that help. text. I butchered all of that text, but I completely understood what he was asking. Yep, right there. So let us go here. 
Yeah, my weekend was uh, yeah, pretty decent, we can't die I would day. say. It's just right here. You gotta chase these gogles out. You gotta run them out of business. Run them out of town. <laughs> yeah, these- oh, those are birds are just sitting there! Wow, it's like something out of a painting. Get back, Laura. I'll clear the way. Someone's eager. Look around. Look around you, Jin. It's just the Gogol's keeping a tight formation. We're stronger as a single unit. If you go off on your own, you're leaving yourself wide open. I'll bear that in mind. Glad to hear it. I just don't want to be carrying around dead weight. What he really means is that he doesn't want you to get hurt. Translation. <laughs> Blue. Blue, please. Hey, I can speak for myself. Anyway, let's move out. Autobots roll out, even though I never really watch Transformers anyway. Uh -oh. Hi, buddy. He missed. Wait, what? what do you mean I wasn't focused on that one? Bro, what the hell? I'm like, I walked right up to your face, so why aren't I punching you? Hi, yes, Blue, hi. <laughs> How was the convention this weekend? Cause I know you were away on a trip to a convention. How did that go? Hopefully it went well. Punch. 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 Oh. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get it. Oh, hey, now they're all ganging up, all right. Mom. Let's go, we got this. Come on, Laura, let's go. Where am I even targeted? It's this bro right here. Alright, gotta look at my meters here. Oh, you're dead. Okay, fine. We'll just do this. We'll do this and this and some of this. We've done it. Uh, Brigham made our buy-in back nicely, but fell just barely short of breaking even after considering the hotel food gas. Damn. Well, it sounds like it was pretty good. So I'm glad it went good. Also, we were trying to sell products for cheaper to try to sell more, and we ended up selling about the same anyway. Gotcha. Yeah, it's always kind of a weird, like, threshold in terms of, like, pricing your stuff. And I feel that, like, I feel like a lot of artists kind of go through that. Because I've, like, done, like, a whole bunch of, like, research and stuff about, like, how to price your art. And I am always, like, terrified of, like, overpricing to where no one wants it. And, also, and on the other side of, like, underselling myself. You know, I, it's always like that weird middle ground that you got to find, so. So if, uh, if we'd uh, sold, so if we'd sold for the original price, we would have made a nice profit, I think. Yeah, could be. It's always like, yeah, that weird, you got to find the right price. And that's tough. Where do you think you're going? Retreating to regroup? I didn't think Ogles were capable of strategic thinking. Jin, they're getting away. It appears somebody may have le may have been leading them. So what now? I say we go after the leader. Take them out. Oh, take them out of the picture, and the Ogles will be up be up a creek without a paddle. I agree. They'll be hard pressed to make a comeback after that. Exactly, and I mean we're all professionals here, right? It's not like they'll give us any trouble, right? I'm ready whenever you are. They are not getting away this time. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm certain wonderful even have to lift my sword. I think you'll find that's my line. Alright, then let's focus our efforts on finding the large one. We should be able to reach higher ground from the left-hand side. Okay. I also sold a ton of soap, so my rebrand worked nice. This is let's go. Addicted. Love that. I haven't really looked. I'm not much of a soap person. Haha! Lock picking! See, 
Look at me. I can open any chest I desire now. See? I'm so good. Also, wasn't there a level 3? There's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh... Alright, yeah, there's a great, great stuff. Okay, um, I'm like one of five left of each scent and sold out of the apple Even one. Nice. The ground, yeah, I'm not much of like a, a heal person. Uh, I, okay, my brain out of the corner of my eye saw like th this right here. Like from far away, it almost looked like the husks from Xenoblade, uh, uh, three. And I'm like, what's a husk doing here? I don't have power of light. Shit. But I can't open this now. The suspense is killing me. Fair enough. <laughs> That's a question of the day. How involved are you in your communities? Um, online communities are definitely one thing. Aren't we intrepid? Um, but like in my physical community, in my town, hardly, hardly ever. <laughs> this is becoming I didn't really start getting involved in like any like quote unquote community thing until like Allie was old enough for like certain activities. So <laughs> there's never really much for a community a activity. Uh, my city and stuff, minimally involved. Even when I was a kid, I wasn't like super involved, but like it probably depends on like what you would consider, excuse me, what you would consider like a, a community activity. I'd say like, you know, like sports and stuff. Like I've always wanted to like get involved with like the recommission and like do sports, but like I don't really have much like friends here. All right, where am I going? Uh, we're going down there. I don't have command water. I cannot command water well enough. Which is sad. Because I would love the power to command water. You know I live nowhere near water. But there is that right there. Hold on. There is that over there. So I want to check that out real quick. Wee. Oof. I mean, I know where we're going. Was it down here? Aha! Found it! See, I'm smart. I'm using my brain. The suspense is giving me a Slow. Now, even like here, because we've lived here for like nine years. <laughs> and, uh,. We haven't really done much of anything, like, within the community proper. So... Uh... <laughs> yeah, until Allie was old enough to participate in, like, certain activities. Uh, then we started kind of getting involved with, like, you know, like, sports games, recommission stuff, and all that. And hello, Akira! Hello, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Fortitude! How'd I do that? Half the battle is living to fight another day. Oh, I walked. Don't I need to like jump for Mithra? I need to jump 51 more times. I need to remember to jump. <laughs> there we go. Uh how are the Xeno? How Xeno are the blades? They are very Xeno. They are very blade. I almost couldn't walk for a second. Okay, yeah, I can't. I don't have. What was it? Command water. One short. What is. What is that? No, that's not. Which one is command water again? Because I know super strength, I need money. I need to get money and bitches. Oh, I can do that one. I can do that one, no problem. Jin can see no my blade. Blue, please. Was it that one? It is that one. 
All right, let's go. I took journalism courses in college, so I was an amateur local news reporter for a bit, but that's about it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, even like in high school, and like, I wasn't really like super like involved in anything. Um, I mean, I did journalism for a little bit, and I mainly just like wrote on like whatever sport I was doing. But that was like really it. Um, and then I uh, transferred out of journalism my second semester that year. Uh, so there's that. Plus, I just didn't really like the teachers. I miss that man. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything is hunky dory. Don't worry about it. Chainsaw, ready? Well, let me get this first. Hooray. I know, I think Mithra and Jin need to be involved in chain attacks. Even though it doesn't look like I can at the moment. Alright, we gotta go Laura because I gotta break the thing. To continue on. And then I'm free to do that. Uh, Not by a long shot. And again. Uh, I mean, Jin needs to participate in the chain attack, so. Alright, we got the fire kind of busted. Alright. Ta da! Look at that! We can bust that one too. Oh, we are on our way to a full burst, aren't we? Alright, hey, we can do. Yay! Magnificent. May I follow? Alright, Hugo. For the glory of Lord Thane! How about another round of carnage? Another round of carnage? How about we get Mithra in all this. But she also needs a needs to be involved. Alright. Alright. Uh hey Jin. Ta-da! And full burst! Look at us! Mithra, how dare you steal the glory? Also, look at them. They're so cool! They're so fucking cool! I love that. Look at that damage. The end has come for you. Love the way you handled that. Well done. Look at that. We got some cool stuff too. I saw uh Minoth got a good thing. Fisticuffs favor the prepared. Uh, 100,000 damage in total. Nice. Hold on, didn't you want to... Overkill in a chain attack. That's what you wanted to do. Okay, what did... You special... One more special from Mithra to participate in a chain attack. <laughs> Journalism college twins. High five. Yo. I am completely uninvolved in my town. Uh, yeah, kind of same. Again, I'm like a hermit. I don't leave. I don't leave, but I'm pretty sure the people at Sonic know me very well. <laughs> I go to Sonic all the damn time. Bring involved in online communities, like socializing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm more, I'm a little bit more involved in like online communities because I just feel a little bit more comfortable that way. Because uh, I was in a conversation with my husband about this uh, the other day, um, where uh. Where, like, oh, I can grab that now. All right, 
Um, like, you know how, like, people are, like, way more, like, vicious online because they have a screen to hide behind? Well, that does kind of go the other way, too, because, like, if someone's, like, really, really nervous about, like, meeting new people, and, uh, they find people, like, with similar interests in them, and they're, like, really scared about, like, you know, actual human interaction, then they can use online to... You know, get that, social, to to get that social to get that social fulfillment. Because like I felt that way with like meeting people online because I have met a lot of people that are you know, have like similar interests as I do, uh kind of mesh with my personality, and it's like, yo, this is actually kinda cool. And I never would have gotten this because this I'm like scared to death of like face to face interactions. <laughs> not like scared to death, but it's like it's not my not my thing, you know? Um, so it does kind of go both ways with that. Like, if you have a screen to hide behind, sometimes you're more likely to be yourself, be more open, a little more carefree, and, like, meet awesome people. And then, again, there's the flip side of people just being absolutely nasty for no reason. Wait a minute, I got Google's out of picture. Yeah, we got it. Uh, Popolo, double and tell everyone that. Yay. Uh, boss sharing news himself? Ooh. We did it. Hero, hero, friends, all can rest safely. Yay! We did it. Nah, it was nothing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, drop out of the store sometime. Alright. Yay. Count me into meh meh. Please form orderly line. A local celebrity. I mean, I, I wasn't necessarily like a local celebrity, but um, in high school, uh, you know, I was on the dance team and um, I was on the dance team and I was like the best one. And it's not like I'm better than everyone else. Like, no, it was like I was the only one that put like a hundred percent effort into anything I did. And don't trust posers, that's fair. Uh, yeah, I was like the only one that went like 100% and everyone else did like 75 at best. But like people noticed that and I was like regarded as like the best dancer and everyone knew me as like the dancer. And, you know, going out, they'd always like announce everyone's names. I'd get like the most cheers because, you know, I was like the best one. And, oh shoot, where am I going with this? Crap, I lost my train of thought. I was like, dance, yeah. Uh, I completely lost my train of thought. I'm like, yeah, dance. Uh, shoot. <laughs> I started telling the story, I completely forgot where I was going. Celebrities? Oh yeah, like, um, yeah, it was essentially like regarded as like, you know, Oh, that's the that's the item that Minoth likes. All right, cool. I'll go find a camp and see if I can make that. Um. Uh, but yeah, I was like regarded as like the best dancer, and like people like knew me as like the dancer, and like again, so much so like you know I went to New York for for dance. We can't dally all day. And uh. And then, like, yeah, people always, like, knew me, like, for football season, because I did golf during the fall. And everyone's like, where, where's Tessa? Where, where is she? And, like, it's like, no, I was, like, I, was, I, I do golf in the fall. I'll dance during basketball season. Pretty good, all things considered. just want to make it. Uh, I can make this. I can make... Oh, arts recharge? Yes, please. I can make at least I think I've done reasonable. There. A couple more. There. I, I was so self-absorbed. I almost burnt it to cinders. We got it. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, like anytime like the the dance team like walked out, you'd always be like, "Go, Tessa!" Like guaranteed. It was uh kind of crazy. 
Exquisite Ooh, perfume. Someone's got good taste. This smell has got my creative juices flowing. Haven't figured out what Adam's favorite shit is. Haven't figured that one out. Is it just okay? Good. Ah, the wisdom of age. Uh, entomology bugs. Collect stuff. Okay. That's easy to do. Uh, but yeah, and I do, I feel like I mentioned this, like, one time before, maybe once or twice before, but I remember, uh, okay, you know, high school, right? You got your, your homecoming stuff, you know, like, your kings and queens and, you know, all, all that fun stuff, and, uh, senior year, you get your king and queen nominations, and, uh, basketball homecoming, like, winter homecoming. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. <laughs> uh, winter homecoming, uh, somebody got caught cheating and putting in, like, multiple, multiple votes. Line, thank you for the follow! Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the follow, much appreciated. Uh... His favorite is his wife, yes. Um, um, hello, Artemelis. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it happens to me. I open so many tabs and I'm talking, I forget. Yes. Um, yeah, like a uh, winter homecoming. Someone got caught cheating and putting in like multiple votes. They probably got a hold of like several different papers. And just put in the vote for, like, the same person over and over and over again. And they got caught cheating. So we had to have, like, essentially a group meeting with our class. And... And the, and the guy fessed up to cheating because he was made to fess up to cheating. And we had to, like, redo all our votes. And, like, everyone kept an eye on everybody. And so, and, like, after that, because it was, like, right after lunch, too... Um, and during one of the classes, so many people, like, came up to me and, like, hey, I voted for you. Hey, I voted for you. Hey, you're, you're one of my nominations, you know? And I'm like, alright, that's cool, I guess. But then I didn't end up making the, the homecoming queen candidate because the three candidates were a really cool girl who everyone liked. And one, um, the nice, like, weird art kid who was one of my friends. And then the bitch who forgot I existed freshman year of high school. Those were the three candidates, so I'm really glad that bitch didn't win. <laughs> Let's be real. So, yeah, but, like, just a lot of people came up to me and said, like, Hey, yeah, I voted for you for, for queen candidate, for queen nomination. You know, and I'm like, that, you know, just, like, even hearing that, it's like, man, you, 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 you know, you, you think? Like, that's cool. The closest I ever got to, like, being, like, part of the homecoming court was during the, uh, fall homecoming, and it was during the big old pep rally that we do, and, uh, but, like, for the king candidates, the king candidates get crowned, and the escorts are picked from, like, different activities, and there was only, like, two senior golfers, and because, you know, I got picked to be an escort, the guy I escorted didn't win anyway, but it's like, eh, it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. I would vote for you, Tessa. Thank you. Away. Thank you. And I, you. What's happening? Search for signs of mysterious entity presence on the forest, forest trail in Torna. Where am I going? <laughs> right there. Okay, cool. I'm like, where am I going? I'm not paying attention. I'm talking about, like, high school homecoming. <laughs> Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Oh boy, fun. Uh, let me grab this first. Tree! I'm something of an expert. Wait, I was still pretty known. You know? And, uh, I remember... Um... I remember, uh, homecoming, uh... And we did, like, the little tradition of, like, everyone came up with, like, a little 30-second dance and we kind of mashed it all together. Um, everyone knew which one mine was. And keep in mind, this is 2013. So this is, like, like, 
Gangnam Style was still very huge at this time. So uh, I also got people together and we did like Gangnam Style as like a little surprise for the pep rally for homecoming, winter homecoming anyway. Um, but like we did like a whole big mishmash and that was like towards the end. And of course, me being the K-pop girly I was, uh, I did uh, Girls' Generations. I got a boy as as my song pick, and we did like the, the the big old dance break chorus part. And then after that was like walk it out, walk it down. And then like at the very end, we did like a Gangnam style reprise, and people went nuts. But like as soon as they realized, oh hey, this is a Korean song. This is Tessa's, because like I think in the video that like I think my one of my friends took. Um. Oh, jeez, what the hell? Um, you can hear somebody say, like, this is Tessa's. Because it was like a big old introduction, like, hey, all the girls came up with, you know, their dance. The fine ally. And, like, upon hearing Korean, they're like, oh, this is Tessa's. <laughs> So, yeah. Where did these tracks even fucking go? What is even happening? I have no idea what's going on. It's fine. Fun, yes. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anytime and all down here in the deep blue sea. Uh, but I mean, like, it was really fun. Sometimes, like, high school... There were fun parts of high school, but then there were also not fun parts of high school. Um, kind of the same with college. I The only parts of like college that I miss are like my friends that I made on the dance team my first year. Like, they were really fun to be around. But granted, I also met my husband on, in college first year, too, because... Uh, yeah, he was in pet band, I was on dance team, and the dance team, um, the dance team danced, like, two feet in front of the band, and my butt was essentially in his face, and there you go, there you have it. Uh, Phil, it's presents. <gasps> Even though it's right behind you? <gasps> dun, 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 spooky season. <laughs> Bridget, stop. Oh, poor Hayes! Don't you think that was somewhat mean, Bridget? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't actually think she would fall for it. Oh my goodness, poor Hayes. That was me when I saw XL in that cereal box a few months back. <laughs> this is Tessa. <laughs> yes. Uh, Lady Laura, please. There are no ghosts, right? Ghosts don't exist, do they? You'll have to excuse Hayes. This is her one and only weakness. So, Hayes is weak to ghost. Hayes can control Eve. Hayes is a psychic type! I figured it out. Hayes is at least part psychic type. Now, now, Bridget. You needn't be pouting like a child. <laughs> like a child in school, child! <laughs> you should have known us. You've shown us a side of you we don't often get to see. That alone is worth nothing. Th thank you, your majesty? Worth noting. Okay. Come on, all of you. All this fawning is making me itchy. Fine, fine. <laughs> it seems like the trail has gone cold. Let's go back and report our investigation so far. <laughs> psychic. Yeah, because like psychic Pokemon are weak to ghost. An easy way to remember what psychic types are oh, weak to in terms of Pokemon is uh, like the three most common fears. Because uh, psychic is weak to uh, bug, dark, and ghost. And three very common fears for humans are bugs, the darkness, and ghosts. So, there you go. It's an easy way to remember. Thanks for all your efforts. Well, have you found anything? Uh, kind of. That's exactly how I remember it, yep. And, uh, remembering that, like, flying is super effective on fighting, you can't suplex a bird. <laughs> you can't suplex a bug, you can't suplex a bird. <laughs> you especially can't suplex a flying bug. Um, we saw it wasn't a human, but a monster? Huh? What over there? Who's that? 
Who's that Pokemon? You cannot punch a bird. Nope. But you can punch a boulder. So rocks are weak against fighting. Like Chris Redfield. No, no, I will not fall for the same trick twice. There is no such thing as ghosts. Hayes, look out. Oh, hey, guys. Goggles? Oh, boy, this is bad. I got this. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Yeah, like Laura says, we'll be fine. I remember that fighting is super effective against Rock because for a will punch. Damn, it does it too fast. I guess I just got you back for the whole Brahms comment the other day. Because <laughs> it's like anytime Brahms is mentioned, I'm like, oh my god, Brahms, I haven't been there in a while. The nearest one is like an hour away from me because like it legitimately is. And it's in a town we do not go to. And then I was in the middle of typing it when she had mentioned Brahms and the other day and it's like, dang it, I was in the middle of typing. I was in the middle of typing that. <laughs> Like, I kid you not. But yeah, Chris Redfield punches the boulder. Like anyone else cool enough to play Resident Evil 5. Again, I've never played Resident Evil 5, but if I were to pick up and play Resident Evil, it'd probably be 5, because that's the one I know the most about. Uh, so, because uh, yeah, as far as I know, Resident Evil 5 is essentially horror, and then action, and then what the fuck is this? to boulder. That's a good summary of Resident Evil 5, I'd say. Bruh. Hey, can I, can I poke your butt? Can I poke your butt? Boom, I poked your butt. Mission accomplished. Oh, I thought that was a mash. I thought that was a mash! In my defense, you're predictable. I mean, okay. I, I do repeat a lot of the same things over and over again. But also, I think I said this too, like, I'm not used to people remembering things about me. So I'm used to being forgotten about. <laughs> or I'm like, used to people forgetting things I've told them before. So, I'm not used to it, okay? I'm not used to someone actually remembering things about me. I'm not used to people being actually decent humans. <laughs> oh, hey! More of you! What's up, guys? We're here for a party? I glanced down at chat and all I saw was double butt action. Like, you know what? That checks out. I was the one that wanted to poke butts. That was me. Ultimate Aurora, can I build up? Can I build it up? Oh, it, it went away. Rude. 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 Oops. I mean, no one needs healing, but we can get Haze out here. The wind blows! And you can go away! You can go away, can't you attack? Time to pull out all the stops. Uh okay, Jin. I need to Hey! There we go, overkill monster and chain attack! That's exactly what we wanna Lead the rear guard to me, yeah, prioritizer, so we're good. No what, what was the noise I just made? But we're good. I right, need one more special to participate in chain attack. Uh, boop. Bam. This is the part I like most. Uh, how about no? You take a back seat. We want a Gion in this house. We stan a Gion in this house. Let's get at him. Cut off. Uh, Jin, again, because I can. See? Because I can. Look at that. And let's go with Gion again, because again, we stan a Gion in this house. Let's get another one in. 
Mithra. Yay. Hada. <laughs> Let me shoot your butt. Thank you. Can I poke your butt? <laughs> There's a lot of quotes about butts. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> Double butt action. The one that used to confuse me was Bug being strong against Dark. And also think about it. In the Japanese, uh, Dark is evil type. Bug see in Dark, Bug thrive at night, Bug come out at night. Yeah. But also, Dark type was evil type in Japanese. So, I wonder, are evil people scared of bugs, too? I wonder. I remember random things about people. You just like Chinese food and lipstick. <laughs> she just likes most food. Yes. Correct. Correct. I do dislike a lot of foods. <laughs> but, like, I remember a lot of, like, arbitrary things about people. Like, okay, birthdays. I re I oddly remember birthdays. Once I like actually like learn a birthday, it's like, yo, I never forget it. Actually storming the city. Uh yeah. Whoa. Oh hello. Backup has arrived. Yay. Uh like I remember birthdays of people like I went to school with. I know birthdays of people I no longer talk to anymore. I know the birthdays of people I've probably only met once because someone said it was their birthday. <laughs> bugs are evil, yes. Bugs are evil. I strongly dislike bugs. Not a fan of them. Uh, yeah. Something something sibling. Something something kid brother, goody goody bro, talking about nice to me, sick of it. <gasps> There's nothing I have to say. Do you really want a bigger like this? If the fighting breaks out tomorrow, you might never see each other again. If you don't end tonight on a good note, you could regret it for the rest of your lives. She's right. There's no guarantee that peace will return anytime soon. Couldn't quite realize that before. I'm really sorry. Aww. Me too. I said a bit too much. Aw. It happens, you know, siblings fight and everything. Costume change. Bam! We're Jin. We're Jin. We're cool. Cause Jin is cool. Um Yay. Yeah, siblings fight all the time. I mean I fought with my siblings. Granted, I did uh fight a lot with my sister growing up. But now we hardly talk to each other anymore, so that's a bad example. Also, hello, garlic. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. No bully bug friends. I, I'm sorry. I don't like bugs. I stay away from bugs. I try to stay away from bugs as best I can. Um, Not sure if I remember this right. Favorite group 17. Favorite song, Shake It Up. Uh, by Joshua. Uh, close. Well, my favorite group of all time is Super Junior. My favorite song of all time is called Shake It Up by Super Junior. 17 is good. And my 17 bias is Joshua. So you, there we go. If someone tells me their birthday, there's like a 10% chance I will literally never forget it. 90% chance I'll forget it immediately. I love a happy ending. Oh, Adam. See, Adam is just a dad. It's like my Adam's like my favorite. Shake it up, shake it off. Yeah. Shake it up. I haven't heard that song in a while, though. <laughs> Dadum. <laughs> Dadum. <laughs> yeah, he's such a dad. I love that. I love that about him. I am honored. We've done it. All right. Boo, Ads. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Blue. Marcus has a quest for us. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of these quests like don't really take too long in the grand scheme of things. It's just kind of a a lot to do. What? Ha oh, that's the that's the overkill in a. No, it's not. What? There must be some use for this. Yeah, that's it. Finish off thirty enemies. All this violence, so senseless. All gin. 
Jin. Anyone else? Mithra. Make sure you use it for all it's worth. Okay. My brain, uh. When I heard make sure you use, my brain automatically like autocorrected that to like make sure you use protection. Because of course, right? <laughs> B minus if I study. <laughs> oh damn! I only get to see the Tesla quiz. B minus if I study. Hard. Funny enough, anytime like there's like any new person uh, meeting like the whole family for the first time, anytime like there's ever any like mention of it, my mom was like, "Better remember everything. There'll be a quiz later." <laughs> anytime there was ever any like mention of like you know new people coming into the family. Is there any, like, special things in here? Any chests in here? No. Any chests in here? Oh, hi! <gasps> the Lola! Hello! Yay, no more ads! Welcome back, Blue! Because <laughs> my brain just didn't brain. I mean, that happens a lot. <laughs> Use protection. Equip your best armor. Yeah! Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Number one fan! Find out the only first class drivers, but have a uh, big time night lady Laura in party! Yay! Very happy, happy. <laughs> Sometimes my brain just like auto completes to things that make absolutely it. no sense. I. <laughs> I read that as mouthwash! <laughs> I, I think it was actually like something about like mouth words, and I read that as mouthwash. <gasps> oh, my brain is so fried. Yay. Uh, anything else around here? I don't think so. Okay, well, uh, let's find some quests. Because uh, surely there's there's got to be what? Oh, the Stirring Chronicles. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the Chronicles of Mouthwash. Uh, look, no matter how many times you bring it up, I still don't want to hear it. We don't know when the next attack might come, do we? There's no place for levity. For levity at a time like this. Oh, it's, it's, it's our bro here that we helped out last time. No, Sarah, you don't understand. That's exactly why. Nobody knows what's coming. We were destined to be together, you and I. Yeah, it's bro here. No, wait, don't go. At least let me ask you this. Why are you so sad all- Oh, Leo, I love him. Sad? Me? Yes, it's as if you're always trying to bottle up all your emotions. Look, like I told you, it's because... No, you know what? I'm done. Why bother explaining myself to you when you don't respect me enough to listen? <gasps> Oh, Sarah, I love your angry face, too! It's adorable, he contorted. Oh my, did you? Bro, you're not listening! Listen to her, damn it! <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, fine. If you want to get with me so much, bring me a rainbow blossom as proof of your feelings. You want flowers? Oh, what a wonderful idea. Why didn't I think of that? But wait a minute. Isn't that particular genus extinct? Oh, well, if you're going to let that stop you, then we've got nothing left to talk about. No, no, th this isn't over. In fact, it's just beginning. Sarah, the love I feel for you will never die, just like I hope that extinct flower didn't, and I'll prove it to you. I mean, the dedication is definitely real. Uh, hi, Sarah. Can I talk to you? I've never seen the capital in this kind of state before. Some guy has been following me around a lot lately, too, which is the last thing I need right now. He keeps coming to the shop. I think he's a traveling performer or something. I wish he'd go away. He seems happy whether I'm rude to him or even if I give him the silent treatment. What's that all about? I guess he doesn't seem like a bad person, at least. But I still just want him to leave me alone. I'm not much of a people person. I don't like being pestered. 
I can understand that. How can I get him to understand that? I mean, some people want space. You know? I know all your pet peeves, I think. Vaccine, spoilers, comments about weight, toxic competitiveness, and being made to feel dumb. That, there you go. The standard pack right there. Probably my favorite side quest. I, it's a good one. I think I remember how it ends, though. Oh, hello, Marcus. But that didn't, like, initiate anything, so... But I think I know what I need to do. Hold on, let me... Let me actually... Boop. Let me see. So many plants, I know. Plants, flowers. Again, I'm not much of a flower person. Ground. We must stay vigilant. This is becoming a makes a but I, I feel like you gotta initiate another quest somewhere. Because I want to say bro ends up here. But I don't want to say anything too early, you know? But again, I discovered this, this on my own and I feel so proud of myself. It's like a little baby playing a Namek. No item left behind. Yeah, it's like a little baby playing a I love it. The sound of my voice. Because uh, I... I'm not using a guide for this. I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. If I need to look something up, I'll look something up. That's kind of how I've been flying by here. You know? Which is typically how I handle Xenoblades. I don't have enough mining! How do I fix that? <laughs> How do I fix this? Where are the secret areas? I've only found this one. Rude. This is so rude. I think we just need to come back here later. Come back here later. I honestly don't think I got enough. It's just that uh, this is we helped him with the thing. The and uh, bro's off on his own. Oh, hey, buddy. Um. Oh, that worked. Okay, fine. Anyway. Alright, let's go back to the capital and... Let's go to the inn, because there's lots of quests around, because of course there is. Even on Fred's familiar got ground, a quest for us. What do you got, Fred? This is Ancestral Torn of Land. It's normal for it to be attacked? I don't think so. Ah, oh, but maybe that's the problem. And then me as a normal, so that's why this happened. Close your eyes. Fire's war. Fire's war. Rebellion happening. Marumo. Wait. Sure, I'll go with the short rest, though. I don't need to level up, though. That's my question on day. How involved are you in your communities? It could be, like, IRL communities, internet communities, whatever. You know, I'd say I'm definitely more involved with, like, internet communities. Here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely more involved in, like, internet communities, especially now. You know, being a streamer and having my own community. But, like, IRL communities, uh, eh. There you are, I've been looking everywhere for you. Have you? Oh, you're that traveling performance friend, aren't you? Hmm, something wrong? Ah, okay, I understand now. I'm sorry to just approach uninvited, but this is urgent. I just couldn't wait. Don't worry about it, we all have our time to hear our personnel. What's got you so flustered? Thank you. It's Leo. He's gone missing. He must have been searching for that rainbow blossom. Yeah, I was... You know, that that's me, typically, in a nutshell. Because if I, like, remember something, I tend to, like, skip a few steps. 
<laughs> I tend to skip a few steps because it's like, yeah, it's like I need to initiate this quest somewhere, but I don't know where to go. But I think we need to end up over here somewhere. <laughs> Leave it to me to just skip a few steps. Rainbow, what now? It's, uh... I really thought it'd be enough to make him give his whole thing up. I never thought he'd actually go and... That's your mistake right there. He's the type that only gets more fired up by obstacles. You could have told me that sooner. I'm not really an expert, but is love really a thing that needs to be proven? I just don't understand how someone can believe in something so blindly. All this talk of love and destiny he spouts. He may be impulsive and hot-headed, but he's not a liar. Just an idiot. Like, he clearly demonstrated back there. Um, did you... Did you just describe me? <laughs> Impulsive and hot-headed, but not a liar. Just an idiot. <laughs> Felt, I feel you, Leo. <laughs> it's not what I mean. You don't trust him. And you're afraid to open up to him because you're not sure. Is that so wrong? I didn't say that. I just thought that maybe your real reason lay elsewhere. Anyway, this rainbow blossom, are you sure it's really extinct? I couldn't say for sure, but I've heard that here in Torna, it may have survived in a secret area somewhere. Secret area! You used to see it all over before, but then with over overexploitation and changes in the climate, its numbers dwindled. Is that so? But I imagine he would also try to seek out the secret area you speak of? He fancies himself an adventurer, does he now? I'm sorry you had to get involved in our stupid business. You know, I didn't mean for anything bad to happen, I just... It's okay, we understand. For starters, we'll go search for clues. There's absolutely no need for you to blame yourself. Proof of love! Don't you worry. And honestly, in this situation, both are valid in their feelings. No longer feel weird. It's just the different personalities right clashing. Anyway. Let me guess. Let me guess. <laughs> hey, guess what? I was just over there. I'm like, yeah, bro's gonna be over here, but I didn't activate the quest yet. There. I always joke that we're all pals online, but if we meet up in person, we might have stage. I mean, that is true. Because, I mean, people, you know, it's, it's again, it's like those parasocial, anything like parasocial, you know? Because, like, you know, I mean, there are people I have felt comfortable with because, like, I'm talking with people more privately. It's like, yeah, you know, I totally get it. Oh, no! I was dead. Or dying. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've also met a lot of, you know, people alike. That's fine. Uh, hey, isn't that... This is bad news. And bad news bears. Oh no, Leo. It's hard to argue with that assessment. We can assess later. For now, we have to move. Kill the plant! Kill the plant! I'm already a certified plant killer. This will be easy! Kill the plant! Bro's body is just right there! Dude! You swapped. You swapped. Buddy, hey, that was not the plan. Fine, I will swap too. I don't know what's happening. You are toppled, you are toppled, you are toppled, you're launched! Uh, I don't have anything. Smash! No! You are toppled again? You did not get launched this time. Rude. Ah! No! Everything is going to crap. It's fine. I'm killing the plant. Again! Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Why? I still don't understand. Okay, so Piranha is uh, apparently a Piranha is a derogatory term in like Brazil or like South America, and it's like, dude. It's like, dude, um... Ah! Chain attack, chain attack! Okay. And yeah, and yeah, that. And, uh, hello, DA! Hello, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Uh... And also, since we have, you know, the two, the double fire element, uh, a Geon is very important. We need to get... We need to get his orb out first. I've noticed the AI hasn't really been using Minoc a whole lot. This is far from Osu. Oh, we just use Jin. Jin I need you up Hero Begin. Makes sense, there we go. We're getting our overkill. There we go. It's not over. I mean we would have been fine. There we go. I'm doing great. I am also doing uh, pretty good. Just, you know, killing flowers. Nothing quite like it. Uh, you know, sure. I haven't really seen much of you. Oh, we'll be good. Who now? The question is, who is getting the, the full burst? Magnificent. Keep it going. Be my I think it's a Geon. Yep, there we go. A Geon. Let's go. Full burst. Full burst. Water move. Now we can see Geon. You guys look more special. Look at them! So coordinated! I love it. So coordinated. Love that. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine, yeah. It's one of those where, like, um... Piranha is, like, a derogatory term in South America, but not here, where I'm located. So it, it's one of them Automod things. Uh... Pasta Pals is doing good. My back just hurts regardless today. Whether I'm sitting up, slouching, whatever. It's just it's mostly my lower back. It's been killing me the last couple of days. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Had a pretty good weekend. Re weekend? Had a pretty good weekend. Picked up Mario Party Jamboree. Played a couple of boards of that Saturday night with my husband, and it was pretty fun. Someone tried to make me feel dumb and chat the other day, so I know how you feel. Yeah. I have had that happen to me before in someone else's chat. It's like, bro, I... Once, like, someone starts, like, arguing with me in someone else's chat... Like, if I'm in a chat, in someone's chat, and then someone else in chat tries to argue with me over something, I just start ignoring them. I just start, like, stonewalling them. Because, like, I'm not going to engage with you. It's just going to make me angry, and it's not going to be very fun for the streamer. So I just stop engaging. <laughs> uh, he... He's not breathing. But why? If he's dead, then I guess it's all over. At the very least, he did accomplish his goal. <gasps> Look what we got. We should let Sarah know about this. His life was the price he paid to get proof of he- To get the proof he needed. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Rip Leo, I know. He did it in the name of love. But first, we should bury the body. A traveling performer like him deserves a better resting place than this. Yes, absolutely. And then we lost. We lost him. Anyway, 
<laughs> anyway. Oof. I mean, yeah, he he said he set out to do. He said what he he did what he said he was going to do. There we go. Uh, to the inn. Uh, yeah, it was another in the chat. I simply asked, "Is this a demo?" And they said, "If it was a demo, it would say so." Man, sometimes it's hard for me to distinguish demo beta trial early access. I just felt. <laughs> Yeah, that's that is yeah, that's turn but another chatter. Yeah, I've had that happen to me before. Not like not quite like that, but like yeah, that's it's like dude, just like answer nicely, just like nope, this is the full game, or it's like oh, it's not a demo. You know, it's it's it takes two seconds to be nice, but some people aren't nice, and it's just whatever. That flower, it's Leo found it for you, but it cost him his life. I'm so sorry we weren't able to bring him back with us. I... I can't believe it. I don't know if it'll make it any easier, but he seemed at peace when we found him. At the very least, I don't think he suffered. I always knew there was no help in that guy, but I never did think he'd take it this far. Leo, you damn fool. You called, oh bosom buddy of mine? <laughs> Azarda! Ah, oh, good, we're right on time. I happen to pick up, pick him up somewhere. Chatty old fellow, isn't he? Not to be rude, but I was hoping you could take him off my hands now. <gasps> He's alive! <gasps> oh man, that was a thrilling ride. I really thought I was dead for sure this time. Bro, you stopped breathing. You, you're, then who was? Looks like we've been taken for a ride. The plot thickens. Warn of warning, bud. I don't much like practical jokes, except I do like to punch him when I can. I don't see how this is possible. I'm just as bemused as the lot of you. In all my long years, I've never heard of a human digging their way out of their own grave. Wise Elder, thank you for the praise, and also for the help. I'm glad you came along when you did. I'm still not sure what happened, exactly, but it seems like we're in your debt again, Uncle. Debt? Oh no, think nothing of it. Now then, I think I've done my part, so I shall leave you kids to it. Hey. I knew you were an idiot, Leo, but this really takes the cake. <laughs> Wait, wait. I'm not following. What happened? Did you die or didn't you? Well, what happened was, I heard you calling me as if from a great distance with the sadness in your voice. Hey, Sarah, deep down inside, would you rather be happy? Wouldn't you rather smile? I realized while I'm looking for the flower that the reason I'm so hung up about you is because I really want to know you. He's so sweet. All right, I give up. You showed me some real courage there, so I guess I can try giving you an inch. Oh, <gasps> an inch! <gasps> I thought this game was only rated T for teen. You, you mean I'll have tea with you sometime? Sure. Uh, oh, 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 you. Okay, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry, I may have been too quick to judge you before, so, uh... I'll love you forever, right? That's what you were gonna say, right? Are you deaf or just an asshole? <laughs> ah, the controller! Architect, give me strength. All I meant to say was, welcome back. Oh, Sarah, my angel! He is so down bad. He is so down bad. <laughs> I love Leo so much. He's great. At least everything's finally out in the open now. So you decided to give him a chance. I'm still apprehensive, I won't lie. But I suppose you can't go through life without taking some chances. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you for helping me realize that. <laughs> right back at you. 
I mean, that is true. Can't go through life without taking some chances. Because if I never started streaming when I did, if I never took the chance to start streaming when I did, I wouldn't be here right now playing Torna for the first time in my life. And again, I know, I know about Torna and stuff. Yay! Nine required for the next level, but there's so much to do! There's so much to do. That's a rare sense of justice. Fusion coaching. Oh, you mean I could go talk to him again? I'm trying so hard not to fall asleep, but I slept in this morning. You Good slept enough. in? Griddle cakes? Ooh. Alright. A Jian can make those? Ooh, fun. Uh, what was I gonna do again? Oh yeah, I was gonna... Oop. <laughs> what do you mean you slept in? I actually woke up on time today. <laughs> so... <laughs> not quite sleeping in, not quite... Uh, too early, woke up on time. Unreal. Yeah, I am kind of unreal. <laughs> Can eat food? Absolutely eat food. I would never not eat food. Yay, Rolly, 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 I am honored. <laughs> okay, anyway. Easy now. Fusion combo up. Ooh, nice. I like fusion combos. I mean, granted, I've always said, like, I like blade combos more. I just like blade combos. Uh, any... I don't think there's any... quests here for us now. There may or may not be some later. What do you mean? There's a treasure trove right here! What do you You're mean? Me, treasure. Um... Is there any... Thing around here. I'm an expert. Uh, I'm just looking at the map here. Okay, yeah, that goes to the desert. There's our cavern seal. Uh, hmm. Have I really looked over back there? I have no idea. I'm just looking, it's fine. You just really bothered me. I thought you know, conversation would happen. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like I I really don't like being made to feel like an idiot. <laughs> Again, it's one of my, my biggest like pet peeves in a way. I mean nothing's really back over here, is there? Yeah, because I was in someone's chat one night. This was like a few weeks ago. This is becoming uh, yeah, I was in someone's chat uh, one day, and uh, there was it was a topic this about something, and I had mentioned, yeah, I did so and so re thing related to this topic, and bro was like, that doesn't exist. You either did this or this, and that doesn't exist. And once I like caught wind of like that snarky attitude in the in the text, I'm like, mm, nah, I'm not gonna engage with you anymore. Makes a fine ally. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm just gonna ignore you. And that's like because like I don't know like who this person is. I don't know how long they've been in this, this community, and I don't want to cause problems for the streamer. So. That's just me, though. I know the drill. But, like, also, like, I don't know how, like, you know, said streamer, you know, takes care of things, in a way, you know? Like, I don't know. 
So I'm just gonna mind my own business. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta fall. Aren't we intrepid? I gotta fall. I usually just ignore, mostly for streamers' sake. I don't want to make them feel awkward. Yeah. I mean, I know if things get like completely out of hand, then the streamer should be be like, should be able to be like, hey, let's not, or like the streamer or the mods will be like, hey, let's not, let's let's simmer down Even here. Familiar ground, we must. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is becoming a so. Yeah, I need to like fall, and I need to. I need to remember I can jump, because Mithra needs it for her thingy. Gia needs to fall. Aren't we intrepid? So, and we. I survived that. Insane. Insane, I survived that, but also, what do you mean that didn't count? Do I have to be playing as a Geon for that to count? I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> this is what, the command water? Fall from a high place. That didn't change, so I think I do have to be a Geon. And discover locations. I need a few more of those. Alright, let's be a Geon. Ta-da! Now then. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let us keep our wits One about more us. time. We can't One more away. time. Going the wrong way. <laughs> There's people that try to tell you you're wrong even though you know you're right. Like, actually. Yeah, um, actually. I expect a great and like, sometimes I'm wrong. You know, and if I'm wrong, tell me in like the most polite way possible. It's like, hey, here is the actual data on this. And once I like see, you know, your info, you know, and your research, then it's like, all right, all right, I was wrong. Like, I'll admit when I'm wrong. What? That went up like one. You mean I had to fall from somewhere higher? What? Oh, me. <laughs> I want to, like, check on this. Because I would love to command water. Keep our wits about us. We can't dally all day. Yeah. Okay, so you the number is 74. A fine ally. And it's, like, in pet, so I don't know how that translates to, to, to this. I swear. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, that didn't change, huh? Hmm. Odd. Hmm. Anyway, I'll figure it out. I will figure it out, it's fine. Uh, any who's all? Let's uh find some more quests to do. Oh, <laughs> this Our journey continues. Okay. There is a collection point. I get some veggies. Get some veggies. Yeah, like if I'm wrong about something, like tell me, like yell at me in the nicest way possible. It's like, hey, um, this is how, like, you know, this is supposed to be this, this, and this. And it's like, oh, okay, good to know, and I'll keep that in mind. But like, <laughs> if you're like yelling at me, like, hey, this is how it actually is, you dumbass. And it's like, bro, what? For one, you don't have the privilege to call me a dumbass. Very few people have that privilege. <laughs> Hello, Sifu! Hello, hello! Welcome in! Hope you're having a good day! Like my teach class? No worries, it's all good. <sighs> it's no use, it's never gonna work. What's never gonna work? Hello again, friend! Hello! Oh, you guys! 
Marcus, wasn't it? Uh, need any help? Not really. You're not fooling anyone. Heh <laughs> Oops. My mic. I'm sorry. I bumped it. Why don't you tell us the problem? Hey, Adam. You're sticking your nose in other people's business again. Quit it. Now, Mithra, it always pays to help out your fellow man. You never know when you might need help in return. That's uh, a fair point, I guess, but still. So, Marcus, care to tell us what's on your mind? All right. What's on your mind, buddy? So the other day, you lot helped me catch a lot of bugs, yeah? I'm really grateful to all of you because you did an awesome job, but then I realized I'm kind of useless by myself. So this time I decided to go have... Decided to... I have a go all on my own. You made these blueprints for a bug catching machine. But then... But then... I like tinkering with machines, so I know the ins and outs of them, but I've never made one from scratch before. I built everything according to plan, but there was no guarantee it'll work, and now I'm dead nervous about it. And that's what you were mumbling to yourself about, was it? Pretty much. I have to say, making a blueprint uh, like that is really something. It's clear how much time you've invested in this endeavor. Huh? You know how to build stuff, mister? I haven't the faintest idea! <laughs> Same. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to a lot of things. I just kind of skate on by. <laughs> it's a miracle I've kept two humans alive. <laughs> For nine and three years, respectively. Because I will say, parenthood is not for the weak, I'll tell you that much. What? Dumbass. <laughs> you know what, Mithra? <laughs> Still, it's evident that you're really serious about this. It is? The fact that you're worried about... The fact that you're worried about its success The fact that you're worried about its success is a sign of your determination. It's perfectly natural. You have a clear goal in mind and you'll do anything to achieve it, am I right? I can see more no I can see a more noble goal than that. Just give word and we'll help you. Have more faith in yourself, Marcus, and let's finish this thing together. Yay! Again, life lessons from video games. And people say video games rot your brain. And people say video games induce violence. No, video games come out with, like, these banger, like, life lessons. And, like, banger quotes. And it's like, damn, it really makes you think. But no, people are like, oh, video games just cause violence. Like, bruh. I don't agree with that about TV either. Yeah, it's like, bro. It's not a one-size-fits-all. Like, yeah, I have gotten angry at video games before. I have thrown a controller. I have slammed things in anger over a video game before. But, like, a lot of the time, like, play games like this, and it's, like, super chill. And it's a way to relax and de-stress, if anything. And yes, someone yelling at a TV screen could be a way to de-stress, because sometimes you just need to scream. Would you shut your trap for a moment? Not you. Keep going. Oh, right. <laughs> Man, sometimes you just need to scream. Like, I've always wanted to do, like, those, like, rage room type things, you know? Just release that pent-up stress and just, like, destroy shit in a controlled environment. Because that's a lot of things. It's like, if people were allowed to just have their own, like, little rage room, were allowed to just let it out every now and then, the world would be a much better place. Probably need about three sunset brackets and a charge sha shaft. What? Uh, it'd be awesome if you guys could go pick this up for me. Sir, yes, sir. We'll have those parts delivered to you on the double, sir. Boys and their toys. <laughs> Yes, oh, and video games aren't violent. Me eats console out of window. If you have anxiety, throw it out the window. Self-hatred out the window. Being nice to kids is one thing, but this is getting beyond a joke. Oh, Adam's just so nice to everyone. Yeah, we'll set that as active. So what do we need? Oh, I already have them. Sweet! <laughs> Thanks, guys. This should be enough to get the machine up and running. 
I'm this close to finishing it now. Let me go and attach the parts quickly, and then I'll bring it straight over. Yay! Well, yeah, video games coming in with, like, super cool life advice. You know, some of my favorite quotes come from, like, mediums you would not expect. Like, even, like, the Mewtwo quote from, like, the first Pokemon movie. You know? Something about... Oh, shoot, what is the quote? Let me look it up, actually. Let's see. Mon movie Mewtwo quote. Yeah, the, the Mewtwo quote is like, I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. And uh, that is a bomb quote right there, you know. And that comes from a Pokemon movie. A movie geared towards kids. <laughs> and again, some of my favorite quotes come from, like, Majora's Mask, you know. Uh, I want to say the happy mask salesman at the end of the game says, Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. Uh, shit. What is the rest of that quote? What is the rest of that quote? Crap. Quote. Maybe I'll find it like the list of best quotes in this Reddit thread. Because there's all like the moon children quotes. Those are damn good. Oh shoot, yeah. It's like whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. But that parting may not last a long time. What what is that? Yeah, here it is. Uh whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely a short time, that is up to you. I'm like, dude, banger quote right there. Banger quote. Another banger quote comes from Super Paper Mario, an underrated uh, game. Uh, let me pull it up for you, and this will be the last time I look up something. My character. There we go. Uh, can't hardly quit halfway through, can we? Uh, Mer nope, nope, that was not what I wanted. Boom, I wanted to open the tab. Because I know it's Merlon that says it. I know it's Merlon that says it. And it's like, end of the game. Yeah, and it's, it's one that's like super real. And uh, he says, farewells are bittersweet. But as long as you live, you can never escape them. And also, another one, to feel sadness is to live. But as long as you're alive, the future is a blank page. And that comes from Super Paper Mario! <laughs> a game people have probably passed up because it's not like the other two. And it's so fucking real. Again, it's like the favorite- it's like the best story out of like the first three Paper Mario games. We're a team, remember? Yeah, teamwork. So yeah, some of like my favorite quotes come from video games. And it's crazy how some people still denounce video games. It's like, oh, they're violent. They they rot your brain. And no, they don't. They're actually super engaging because you're immersed in the story. I'm sure people like, and it also helps your hand-eye coordination and everything. Um... But also, like, it immerses you in the story, and it's more interactive. So you feel like you're a part of the story when you go through. So it's like, yeah. So long, King Bowser. Hits deep. And yes. And also my favorite, so long, Gay Bowser. Is also my favorite. But yeah, deep quotes right there. But like, for, for realsies, like, a lot of my favorite quotes come from video games. And a few of them were ones I had, like, just read. You know? And again, the Moon Children from Majora's Mask... Those guys hit hard. It's like, dang. I had a more go, swear it will be done. Yay. So, you gotta go catch bugs? You gotta go catch bugs. Time to catch bugs. I did catch Dana Desert, so... Where are we going? 
I don't know where we're going, though. Let's actually... <gasps> I like the Meowth conversation from that movie. Yeah. Ground. We must stay vigilant. Okay, now where? Where? Do I have to find it on my own? Let's go here and see where we go. Are we there yet? Our journey continues. Harad Hills. Or maybe it's here. Where the fuck is Harad Hills? Uh, not here. <gasps> I'm so confused. Uh, have I not gotten there yet? Oh, I can grab that now. Uh, I can also grab that. Let's go to the nature preserve and see what's around. Our journey continues. Our journey does continue. I mean, this is the correct place. Oh, is it over here? It is over here. Oh, yeah. Also, this chest right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is a level three lock picking. Now I can get it. Haha, <laughs> losers! Losers! Mine now. This is mine now. This is mine now. You can count on me. <laughs> anyway, hi. Uh, this way. I don't know where I'm going. Which again is par for the course. There you are. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas has some powerful dialogue, in my opinion. And that's a game that was very controversial when it comes to causing violence. Yeah, GTA is definitely one of those where it's like, you always associate it with like violence and breaking the law. <gasps> but then it's like, dude. Down. Where am I going? You can count to the sound of my voice. <gasps> Like, yeah, you can always find, like, some hidden gems in the strangest of places. Ah, okay. I found. Seems as good a spot as any. Yeah. I've learned so much watching TV sitcoms and series about society, cultural expectations, psychology, sociality, and I hate it when they say, uh, TV rats your brain. Yeah. And, like, again, cartoons nowadays. And... Like, some cartoons nowadays, they are actual brain rot. <laughs> like, uh, I believe it was actually, like, they did a study on this. Like, Cocomelon is, like, literal brain rot. Like, do not, and, like, overstimulating, do not show your children Cocomelon. Bad idea. Like, show them, like, Blue Bluey's a good show. Uh, Paw Patrol is always a pretty decent show. Um... Because Allie loved Paw Patrol when she was a toddler. She loved it. Riley really likes Bluey, even though we don't really watch Bluey, but she knows who Bluey is. Uh, Peppa Pig? Uh, I think I had seen Peppa Pig was like a no. Like, I didn't really watch too much Peppa Pig. controller is fine. It was charging. I don't want to be, like, connected. I mean, this is just from what I had, like, seen here and there. Uh, 
but like yeah bluey is good and also like cartoons from when we were a kid like where are the morals where are the life lessons like those are definitely like missing nowadays in like modern um modern cartoons and uh one of one of the things that irritates me is teen titans go which has like consumed cartoon network and like the only like real like sometimes some of the things you know some of the jokes make me laugh but like man i want like the the original like cartoon network teen titans you know and I even saw like a TikTok a couple weeks ago about like, oh, the, the Teen Titans cartoon was like absolutely awful for, um, was awful because he didn't adapt to the comics properly. It's like, bitch. Just all in all, it was a decent even show. Ground, it was a good show. It had great characters. Um great lessons and uh i still say that starfire got snuffed because they have what five seasons and every character had at least like one season where like the main overarching story was focused on them because in season one it was robin uh season two they introduced tara who had her own arc um Season three was, I believe, Cyborg. Uh, Cyborg had his own story arc. Season four was Raven's story arc. And season five was Beast Boy's story arc. And it kind of went into, like, everybody. And that's just how it ended. And I, I'd seen a rumor. Again, I haven't really looked up anything in terms of, like, confirmation on this. I haven't done my research on this. So take what I say with a grain of salt. I had seen floating around that one of the reasons uh, Teen Titans got canceled was because of potentially like merchandising and also that the demographic was not what they expected it to be because apparently a lot of girls watch Teen Titans. And it's like, no, girls don't buy action figures and they can't buy our merchandise. Granted, I have no idea if this is actually the case or not. Again, take what I say with a grain of salt. Do not shoot the messenger. <laughs> like, do your own research. This is just what I had seen floating around and I haven't had a real chance to, like, look up anything yet. Um, but that's just kind of what I had seen floating around because I've seen it a couple of times here and there. And like, if that's like really the case, that's stupid because I'm sure season six would have been like a Starfire arc. And I really, really, really loved Starfire. Really loved Starfire. Uh, Starfire, I mean, I loved all the Teen Titans. I loved Starfire. I loved Raven. Uh, Cyborg is great. Beast Boy is great. Robin's also great. But yeah, Starfire got snuffed. I love the, the Starfire-centric episodes. Um, one of my favorite episodes um, was when Starfire and Raven swapped bodies and had to learn how each of their respective powers worked. And it worked completely the opposite. Because, like, Starfires is based on feeling emotions. Like, feeling strong emotions. That's how you use your power. And Raven is controlling your emotions. Make sure you are calm, zen. That's why she meditates all the time. So, both their powers work the opposite. So, um, when they swap bodies, like... Starfire controlling Raven's body, her powers were like just super out of control, and Raven and Starfire's body, she couldn't get any powers to work. But then, you know, the resolution at the end, they figure it out, and then happily ever after, you know, type thing. So that's one of my favorites from like back then. I hadn't heard that rumor, that sucks. Yeah, and again, take what I say with a grain of salt. If you want to dig more into it, dig more into it. I, I welcome that. You know, I am a big advocate of like, do your own research when it comes to stuff, you know? Uh, anyway, uh, bro, hey, bro's mad. <laughs> uh, I read a rumor that season six was going to go into more TV 14 direction. I would have been so cool with that. <laughs> that would have been so cool. But, uh, like, I would have loved, you know, a Starfire-centric arc and Blackfire coming back and being, like, the quote-unquote big bad. I would have loved that. 
I would have really loved that. That would have been so cool. But no, we got gypped. And also the way the series ended, like, dude, why would you... It got canceled at like the worst time too, because it just ended on a major, major, major cliffhanger. Uh, you know, perfect your machines, yes? It's like, hey, go, go learn. I think that's essentially what he's putting down here. But yeah, more TV 14 direction for uh, Teen Titans would have been cool. I know, like, I think Young Justice, and I think there's, like, other shows that kind of focus on, like, the, the Teen Titans and, like, you know, DC Comics. Like, I watched a little bit of those. But, like, I haven't really, like, gotten into it. But, like, the, the OG, like, the 2003, I think that's when it first came out, Teen Titans. Like, that's, like, my jam. That's what I grew up on. And I loved those Teen Titans. Like, I even have, like, a Teen Titans, like, little lanyard. Little, you know? For my massive keychain collection. Because I, uh, fun fact, I do have a lot of keychains. And my car keys are not on them. Because, uh, also, fun fact, uh, we sold my car. A couple weeks ago. So now we have one vehicle, but with the way our life situation is, we can manage one vehicle. Um, so I don't have my car keys on uh, on my, my keychain. Never did, even when I had the car. Um, uh, something I almost forgotten and believe in themselves. That anyone, if they believe in themselves enough, has the power to overcome any hardship. Boom, shakalaka, right there. Adam with the life lessons. Uh, but yeah, I have a bunch of keychains. Uh, I have uh, a little Nintendo 64 keychain. I have a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta keychain. I have a little butterfly keychain that my mom gave me a long time ago. Uh, I have a Chargers keychain. I have a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Uh, I wish it had comics based on the O3 show. And it's so unfortunate because those comics are called Teen Titans Go. And the stupid Cartoon Network show is called Teen Titans Go. So if you want to look stuff up, good luck finding it. Which, it, it's stupid. It's stupid. When you're an adult, it's easy to lose sight of that simple fact. Again, Adam, what the life lessons here? Is that a lesson you had to learn? Maybe. Maybe not. And again, I would not take advice from someone who has not been through those life lessons they speak of. <laughs> you know? Or at least have been in like close proximity of someone who has gone through those life lessons. Now they have comics based on uh, the Teen Titans Go show also. Tell Teen Titans Go? Oh my goodness, it's awful. Meany. Anyway, I think we're done here. Time we made a move. See ya, Marcus. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Yay, you're welcome. Look at our little community. We're doing really well. Thanks for that. Yeah, I think we're doing really well and for our uh, community here. Like, look at us. Oh, hey. Uh, track you. Yes. Challenge showdown? Yo! Challenge showdown? Okay. The Two big shows growing up. Well, three big shows. I just talked about Teen Titans. The other two were Code Lyoko and Challenge Showdown. Those were uh, the two big ones for me. Where is our community? Aha! There we go. So yeah, challenge showdown. Oh my goodness, I love challenge showdown. I challenge you to a challenge showdown. Our journey continues. You gotta, you know, you gotta wager your your Shengong Wu. Uh, in your uh, for for the showdown, you gotta do whatever is challenged, and then uh, to start it off, it's like Gong Yi Tempai, and then you, the uh. Uh, it was Omi. Omi was great. There's Clay. Uh, Raimundo was like my favorite. Uh, <laughs> I helped your dad. Love it. Uh, Raimundo was my favorite. Uh, Kimiko was also pretty cool too. Uh, and I loved the the arc that Raimundo went through, especially in like the first season. 
where he like betrayed the group and joined uh, Jack Spicer and Wuya. Uh, yeah, the whole thing was great, and like the use of like you know the Shengang Wu, it was pretty cool. You know, I I loved, and also again, I am like a sucker for like elemental stuff. That's probably why I like I uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 battle system a lot, because it's a lot of elementals, and I love elementals, and uh, Shaolin Showdown was just uh, elementals, because you have, like, the water dragon, you've got uh, the, the earth, air, or, like, wind, or fire. Um, yeah, and, like, some of the Shengang Wu have, like, uh, different elements tied to it. So if you, like, call up the name of the Shengang Wu and added nice. your element to it, it'll, like, uh, it'll, like, amplify it a lot. Like, uh, Orb of Tornami? The Orb of Tornami? Something like that? If you, you know, Omi would use it, like, the Orb of Tornami! Water! And it would be, like, extra water. Or sometimes he would say ice, and it would be, like, all frozen. It was, like, really, really cool. Yeah, I- this is just off the top of my head, too, and I haven't watched any Shaolin Showdown in a long, 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 long time. <laughs> I just- I love Shaolin Showdown. I liked Kimiko, I need to rewatch it. Same. Uh, I wish I watched more Code Lyoko. Code Lyoko was great. I loved Code Lyoko. Here we are, going far to save all that we love. If we give what we got, we will make it through. Here we are, Let's like a star shining us. bright on your world today. Make it go away. Yeah, love, 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 love Code Lyoko. <laughs> oh, it was so good. Charlotte, hello. Excuse me, have any of you uh, had occasion to visit Torgoth recently? Uh, I'm shocked about Torgoth and haven't seen or heard back from him since. Oh no. How long has it been? Uh, weeks now. He told me it was becoming more and more likely that Torna would become would come under attack. So he wanted to visit his hometown before the Aegis came and destroyed us all. Can you tell us his name? Taurus. Okay, he's in his 40s. He's a bit of a cautious character. Uh, he likes his daily walks in the countryside. Is this a dating profile? Why are you giving us his dating profile? Uh, a scene that never left my mind was when they're... Uh, when Clay finds an... Or when they're fighting, Clay finds an old slice of pizza in his clothes, and I think... It, I think, and he just eats it? Nothing like pizza for breakfast? I think I remember that, too. It was great. There's real passion for glasswork. I can tell he's very important to you. We'll start searching for him right away. Don't you worry. You... you will? Absolutely. I know what it's like to have someone you care about on your mind. We'll get Tara's back safe and sound. I promise. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry to trouble you. I can be such a worrier. I've been told he lives at the far end of Torgoth. If you find him, could you tell him a student, Claire... Claire... Charlotte is worried about him. Okay. I like Jackie Chan's adventures a lot. Ah, yes! I also remember Jackie Chan adventures. That's so wise to tell her that Laura, you know Torgoth's been, you know. Gonna make it, I'm gonna make a thorough search and tell her what we know. We cannot turn them away. Yes, we said that it's active. Um. As in Gormot. We're gonna skip travel over to Gormot. And then. I mean, Torgoth. So let's go to the arch. And if we're not thrown in a cutscene, we'll take our break. So that way, when we do come back from break, we have a direction to go. Skip and a jump later. Alright. So we're we gonna take our break. Like yeah, Jackie Smash. Chan Adventures. I, I do remember Jackie Chan Adventures. Uh, man, that was that was that was a show. And like something about like the tokens oh, or something. Have we been up yeah, way? childhood man. All right, so we're gonna take our break. We are going to get up, stretch, go to the bathroom, grab a snack, do whatever it is you need to do, and we'll be right back. That's 
There's no one else who loves me like you used to Some days I'm not myself There's no one I can turn to And I know All the feelings that we share are in the past mm -hmm. And I know Your relationships are never meant to last
can tell myself and I can't focus Yeah, I'm broken The door is closing Wanna be a part of something more than this I've lost control of it pair of jeans, a shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in store oh, I want to take it on and I'm falling The cityscape by night Want to catch in my photos Where you go Every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights all righty we are back uh sorry for a little longer break uh i was uh being a mom in a a better way <laughs> oh i need to probably ought to i probably ought to update that but i do have a blue sky it's the same as everything else <coughs> goodness Um, but yeah, Riley has, like, a, a blister, or, like, a popped blister on, like, the bottom of her toe, and, like, she ain't walking on it, it's hurting her, so I wanted to try and see if I can do anything, if we have anything here to help for now, and I got it, I put, like, Neosporin on it and covered it with a band-aid, we don't have, like, any, like, cool kids band-aids, <laughs> but it's better than nothing. So, oh shit, I never did that. I never did do a throne timer. All right, I'll probably get one ready after end of stream. I don't know. It'd be fine. Yeah, I hope it gets better too. Oops. I want to be a Gion. Uh... Yeah, we gotta uh, go through here. I expect a great discovery. Uh, dilemma rock. What a dilemma. Huh. Not yet, you know, kids, you know. And cause you I, tol I told my husband about it. And, you know, he was like, huh. Kind of, we wonder if it's like a combination because she did get new boots uh, recently, which is essentially the same as her old ones, but just a bigger size. But also, breaking in new shoes is hard on your feet. 
you can count and on uh, with her old ones, it, it took a long time. We just never really had a chance to get her new shoes because, you know, money things. Um, you can count on so she was in a pair of boots that were way too small for her feet, so we kind of wonder if that had something to do with it. But, uh, hopefully that it gets fixed you can count on in a way. A fine ally. So, hopefully it'll be okay. You can count I'm on something me. of an expert. So the whole job of Twitch's new policies. Uh, I haven't seen much about Twitch's new policies. I haven't seen any of that. But I know Twitter's new policies. It's mostly just like the blocking with with Twitter and like the whole AI thing with Twitter it's like dude Twitter well I no know. you're you're good I mean Twitch is Twitch you know but yeah Twitter um yeah it's not great cuz like the whole blocking thing that was like all right because the whole point of blocking someone is to not let them see your stuff and now Twitch is, now Twitter's blocking feature is going to be more like uh, Twitch's what blocking, which is uh, they can still see your stuff, but they can't interact with you. Because like there's been a couple times where I've thought about like blocking someone on Twitch, but like looking into it, there's no point because they still see your stuff. The only point in blocking, like honestly, it's better to ban someone in your chat than to just block them. But even then, they can still see your stuff if they just log out. Um. So yeah, because I have a few people I have blocked on Twitter, and I don't want them seeing my stuff. But now they can. And it's like, dude. And even then, with Twitter and how it is, if you block someone and you go to their profile, you can, they, you can still see their posts. You can still see their tweets. Because there's an option like, hey, you blocked this person. Do you want to see their tweets? And there's a button that's like, yeah, I want to see their tweets. And Or you can just, like, you know, do something else. Uh, so it's, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> it's kind of stupid in that way. <laughs> And now it's like, well, if someone has blocked you, you go to their profile, it's like, this person blocked you, you know, you can't see anything. But now, I guess with Twitter, it's like, oh, this person blocked you, here's their stuff that they didn't want you to see. And it's it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So yes, I do have a blue sky. I have like two posts on it. Uh, <laughs> not a whole lot. I've had it for a while, but like, I haven't posted anything on it, so... But it is uh, nice. It is kind of a fresh start, and also it's better for artists because of the whole AI taking their art for stuff. So it's yeah, it's just one of those things. And hello, Frost. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Twitter's always been stupid. Yeah, and Twitter has always been extremely toxic. <laughs> so there's that too. Uh, Twitch is working on blocking the IP address of banned users so they can't watch even if logged out. At least for a little while. That would be really neat. A lot of... Some of Twitch's stuff that they're trying to implement... Sometimes it feels like... It's like a little late on it. But like, honestly, sometimes better late than never. Because I know one positive feature that got added... Uh, somewhat recently was... Uh, multi-stream... Having a shared chat between all of the multi-stream. So like... Say like if I am collabing with someone... And we do a multi-stream... There's just like one big chat for the two of us. Like that is cool. That is super beneficial. And like... That should have been implemented a lot sooner... But it, I'm glad it's a thing now. You know... Or going to be a thing. And um... Yeah stuff like that is cool. But sometimes it's like bro... And like the, the clips. The fucking clips. I can't handle that... Like, especially on mobile, because, like, if I go to someone's, you know, page on mobile and I go to their clips because I want to watch funny clips, it's all TikTok now, and I hate it. But, like, on desktop, it's perfectly fine, but on tick on, uh, fuck. Now I'm calling it TikTok because it desperately wants to be TikTok. 
It's just annoying. Uh, Elon trying to increase internet toxicity even more. I swear that man runs on drama. I think I've seen somewhere that like his profile is like the most blocked. <laughs> I think I'd seen somewhere that his profile is the most blocked. And it's like, bro, just, just no. Just leave the blocking the way it is. Have you gotten Jamboree yet? Uh, and yeah, sure chat is epic. Yes, it absolutely is. And, uh, yes, we did pick up Jamboree. We picked it up, uh, Saturday. And me and Vegito played a couple of boards Saturday night. And, um, the consensus is Toad is not invited anymore. <laughs> that is the consensus. I won't go any more, any less, because I do want to play some more off stream so I can kind of get a feel for the game, play all the mini games, get stuff unlocked, and then we can bring it to stream. So I want to get stuff unlocked first before I bring it to stream and kind of know half a semblance of what I'm doing. And so that's kind of the, that's kind of the consensus. Oh uh, yeah, the new clip thing confused me, like vertical horizontal mobile view. I did what I could with the ones I made here. Hopefully it's good. And I, I appreciate that. But sometimes like the default layout is like just straight up in the middle. But most streamers like overlays have the gameplay off center a little bit. So if it like defaults, there's stuff you're missing in the default vertical layout, which is ridiculous. And like, I wouldn't mind it so much if there was a toggle on the mobile app of like, you want to view the vertical format or the normal horizontal format. And it's like, I would love the horizontal format because they at least did a, a toggle of um, like the autoplay when you first pop into the mobile app. Cause th there is a toggle, you gotta dig for it, but there is a toggle to stop the autoplay. <sighs> so yeah, there is a toggle to swap the clip view on mobile. I would love that. And like, if you're like scrolling on your feed to find funny clips, that's fine to have the vertical format. But like, if I'm going to someone's profile, I want normal horizontal. Cause I want like the full context of something, you know, that's just me. Imagine being the most silenced person on the entire internet. I know. <laughs> Hashtag toad rejected at the door. Mm-hmm. He was too good. He was too good. Oh no, this one says Taurus. Yeah, must have been made by someone who knew him. Oh no. I mean, Torgoth essentially just got slaughtered, so... I'm so sorry, everyone, but I had to make sure. No, I totally get it. I would have done the same. Uh, one way or another, Charlotte will need some closure on this. I'm with you, Laura, and I'd have done the same in your position. That said... That's the sad thing about miracles. They rarely happen. Don't beat yourself up about it. Damn, Minoth. I mean, Minoth is just being realistic here. You know, Minoth is definitely being realistic. I had horizontal as default, then Twitch kept doing the zoom in vertical with your PNG on top. I didn't know how to turn it off. Yeah, and also, here's the thing that bugs me. Um, I have TikToks, right? And I upload my clips to TikTok, right? I am very picky in particular about how I want things laid out, especially in a TikTok format. Which I know some people love the face cam up top. I, but I just have a still image PNG. So there's really nothing to see. So I have it at the bottom. So you see the gameplay in like the middle of the top. So you can still see everything. Because I'm always looking at like the top half of my phone. That's just me. And also you can see all the fun things. And plus have it above. If you look at the description, you're not missing anything. That's like TikTok, but like Twitch just defaults to the face cam being on top and I hate that. There's no option to change it, at least that I have seen. There is zero option to change it and I hate it. <laughs> uh, it's kind of cool you can play as Bowser though. Yeah, you could, I know you can play as Bowser in uh, Super Mario Party. Um, and in Jamboree you can play as Bowser. Uh, actually Vegito played as Bowser <laughs> when, we, uh, when we first played. And, um, one of the boards we played, um, okay, there's, like, allies and stuff, right? I won't, like, go too much into it. Is that a fly or a bug on the wall? Hold on. It's gonna bug me if I don't take care of it because I hate bugs. Anyway, there's like allies and stuff. 
like there was in Super Mario Party. And again, I want to elaborate, but I will say, um, having DK as an ally, <laughs> it was meant to be because my husband is a DK guy. And he was playing as Bowser, but DK was one of the allies. And honestly, he helped them win a board. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, that's all I'll say on it. Because again, I want to play the game a lot more and unlock some stuff and get familiar with it before I bring it to stream. There we go. Uh, but yeah. Um, predicting an attack. Lodgings. Uh, <laughs> Really fine. Uh, are you done, Riley? Yeah. You're done. Okay. Okay, okay Riley. But yeah, with the whole blue sky thing. I do have a blue sky page, and I did double check how blocking works, <laughs> cause I found I managed to find someone that's like I don't want them to see my stuff. And so I tested it, and even if you go to their page, you can't see their stuff. So I was like, good. Keep it that way. <laughs> Keep it that way, because it always bugged me on Twitter, because even if I block someone, I have a terrible habit of, like, keep checking on them. I have a bad habit of that, and it's hard for me to move on because of that bad habit, you know? Um. So I hated that about twi Twitch. Uh, fuck. Twitter's blocking. But now it's going to be like the same thing as Twitch where it doesn't do anything. All Twitch blocking does is stop you from following and subbing to a person. And you can't see, and they can't like message you on Twitch. They can't whisper to you. Um, because again, though, there's like some people that I thought about like blocking and I looked into it. And like, that's all it really does. You're better off just banning somebody in your chat. And it's like, even then, even like what was it, like a year or so ago, they added the feature of, um, they, they added the feature of, like, turning off whether banned people can still watch your stream, because used to, they can still watch stream, they just couldn't engage in chat. But now it's a it's a toggle. You can, you can turn, turn that off. Most people turned it, turn that on to where banned people cannot watch stream. So, yeah, that's just how it is. Social media, man, is just insane. You can count I'm on something me. of an expert. Cause like I was probably the most active on Twitter, just like, and that's how I got like my wrestling news, and you know, just kind of updates on things, on seeing Nintendo. But like now, it's just anything I see nowadays is just essentially junk and people getting like really angry at each other and it's like i don't want to deal with that because again twitter is very toxic twitter is extremely toxic and i don't want to deal with that but like, i'll still like, use it until it like just you know dies but yeah twitter is just extremely toxic and the fresh milk okay uh, where? Over here? Not over here. Yeah, over here. Aha! Uh -huh. I expect a great discovery. Get get the wood first. Wood is very important. Okay. What might you be hiding? Mining and fortitude. Do you want me to be Bridget, Riley? Yeah. Okay, I will be Bridget for you. I'm crossing my fingers. Cars notes. I deactivated my Twitter, intending to return, and then sometime later it was deleted completely. I think and made one sense, but might make blue sky. Yeah, I know a lot of people are making blue sky, and I've seen people on Twitter complain that. People on Blue Sky are not toxic. I'm like, what a thing to complain about. That your better off competitor is not as toxic as you. I mean, what the hell? What is that? But yeah, I, I know I made a Blue Sky account like a long time ago. And I never posted it and I never really checked it. But maybe now I'll like kind of poke my head in and maybe try to, you know, post when I go live on Twitch and stuff like that. 
just kind of community things. So, but yeah, I think last I knew, if you like deactivate your your Twitter account, I think it, if it's deactivated for like a year, it gets deleted. But I don't think I don't think you've had your Twitter account for very long, have you? Unless they like changed that at some point. Okay, Riley. All the way over there. Alright, fine. Let's go all the way over there. Yeah, that's that was like that was also like years ago if you like deactivate your, your Twitter and uh if it stays deactivated for like a year. Like if it stays deactivated for like a year, then um The wisdom of Uh No, not that. Blade switch. There we go. I had to like look. I want Minoth in front actually. Smithra has been getting a lot of time to shine. I feel like Minoth hasn't really been doing much. You could put me to better use. But yeah, it's like if they change that, that's kind of shitty in a way. Hey, buddy, let me scroll, scroll by you. Stroll by you. What a terrible chore. So, yeah. Oh, you wanna get out? Okay, uh. Oh, there's stuff down? I'll check that in a second. I need to go up, don't I? Yeah, I need to go up. So let's go up. You're awake. Okay. Oh, down just over there. Okay. I've been over there before because I, I jumped down into the water. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, let me squeeze by you here. Hey, with my screen name specifically for interacting with streamers and stuff. That's the one that got deleted. That's rough. Like, I would imagine you hadn't had that for more than a year. Because I know it's been about a year, you know, since, you know, you joined the online community hour. and following streamers and stuff. Because I, I remember you saying something about that. And... Like, that's kind of crappy, unless unless they changed something. Made it in January, February. Yeah, it's not even a year. You could be inside. So, See, I knew you could that's kind of crappy. Yeah, unless they changed it and I had, like, no idea. Because, be yeah, last I knew it was, like, if it's deactivated for more than a year. Um, yeah, if it's deactivated for more than a year, then it's like, oh, can't. You know, it gets deleted. Uh, I'll be right back. I will put away Riley's stuff now. I'll be right back. Enjoy this lovely shot of these ladies.
come back. Elon has one brain cell for every million dollars he has. I mean, okay, yeah. Uh, technical manual, great detail about manufacturing process. But yeah, I mean, Twitter has been very fluctuating since Elon took over, I will say. But I don't want to, like, get into, like, all of that, because I know people have, like, different opinions on everything. But I was like, Twitter is just... Sometimes it's cool, and sometimes it's just not it. And especially with the new blocking feature, yeah, it's not it. Uh, Terrence came all the way out here to bury this. Kind of weird, isn't it? Maybe he buried it. Maybe he came here to dig it up. We don't know for certain. Didn't Charlotte tell us he was worried about there being an Aegis attack on Torna? This is just speculation, but maybe he left it there to spare his knowledge from the destruction. Uh, if you're right, then it's a terrible irony that he met his demise in Gormont. I have probably one I uh, use for personal IRL things, but uh, to avoid doxing, I just click on streamers without following. Yeah, I get it. Because I know people are super protective of identities, but also some people just don't give a shit, and it's super easy to find people. I was like, yeah, digital footprint. It's real. You know, that's why I am trying to be a little bit careful. Because, like, yeah, my username is Tessa Jane. That is my legal first and middle name. Okay, go get a friend, Riley. But again, I've done extensive Googling, I've done a lot of searching, and like, I would hope people have not found my my current Mary name and my maiden name, you know? So I would, I would hope not, because uh, people would, f you'd probably find more on me if you found my maiden name, honestly. Also, look at that view. Look at that sunset. Gorgeous. Anyway. Okay, Riley. Uh, yeah, I trust you and most people on Twitch just not ready to say where I'm from or my real name or share photos. And that is perfectly fine. Nobody is obligated to do any of that. You know, like, like for me, I know I did like a big old sub goal when I did like my first, uh, anniversary of hitting affiliate. I did like a big old sub goal, but I also made it like unrealistic and, uh, and realistic at the same time. But it never got hit and it was like a face reveal. But also, like, now, you know, being on the internet and, you know, learning a bit more, it's like, I should probably protect my face. Because, like, when anyone does any kind of face reveal of any kind, like, it just goes downhill. Because people have their super high expectations of what people should look like. Like, uh, Dream, for example. Like, everyone's like, oh my god, he's gonna be so high, he's gonna be so fucking sexy, he's gonna be so gorgeous, and then he's just an average-looking dude, and they're like, oh my god, he's ugly! And, yeah. It's because everyone had, like, stupid high expectations. That happens a lot with people on the internet. They have, like, stupid high expectations, and they're, like, immediately disappointed when those stupid high expectations are not met. Again, uh, Switch 2, anybody? Because I see that a lot with the Nintendo community. Uh, anyway, uh, Tessa Jane, Fluffy Bottom. Did I get it? Oh no, Frost, how dare you? You revealed my government last name. How could you? <laughs> Go get a drink, Riley. This man. <laughs> Bro, the reaction to Dream's face reveal absolutely floored me. And, like, I kind of heard some stuff, and I also heard some shit about, like, he, like, cheated in speedruns in Minecraft or something. That's, like, all I really know. But then I, I saw a picture of his face. I'm like, eh, he's just a dude. And that's a lot of these people. They're just people. But people, again, but internet people, these parasocial relationships, these stupid high expectations of what in their mind's eye they see these people looking like is totally the opposite of what, you know, they look like. So it's like, dude. You know? Uh, oh, shoot. There's someone else. I am, his name is escaping me. There's someone else that has like this like super deep voice 
and I don't think he's done a face reveal, but I think I've seen people speculate about it, or maybe he has. I cannot remember. I do. His name's escaping me right now. Uh, is something creep? I can't remember. Corpse husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, it started with a C. Corpse. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he got docs or something. Okay, that that makes sense. I'm like, I don't know much about it. I don't really know anything about him. I just know people love his voice. Well, thank you, Blue. Thank you. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. He got dog. Yeah. But, like, people have, like, these stupid high expectations. I mean, I posted, like, kind of a picture of, like, half my face. Uh on Discord, just showing off my hair being dyed. But like, my entire face wasn't shown, so... But also, that was what I am comfortable with, you know? Uh, did you nap? Did Blue nap? Did Blue go nap-nap? <laughs> of course he looks like a regular dude. <laughs> what the fuck y'all expect? Exactly! Like, he's just a dude! Fucking fly! Right in front of my face, really? You got docs. That happens when anyone gives her a shout out. Um, <laughs> I did nap, yes. <laughs> I was about- I, <laughs> I combined Akira's message of Gihan got you food and then Tessa gets me and I was like, Gihan gets you. I mean, I would hope Gihan gets you. He married you. <laughs> uh, but yes, I, I, would, I would have assumed you had napped. Anytime you just like disappear in this time frame and show up about an hour or so later, I'm just gonna assume you napped. <laughs> I just know him from uh, 2020 when he would join YouTubers in Among Us servers because I used to watch a lot of Shovel and all of those YouTuber gamers. Yeah! I still watch like Chilled Chaos and uh, Jeremy Dooley. I still watch those guys and I still kind of watch Among Us here and there. Because, like, used to, uh, I watched it a lot, and then I kind of stopped watching after having Riley. And then I kind of got back into it about, uh, I think earlier this year I kind of got back into it. But, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, still, point is, like, face reveals. Because I remember Blue was talking about it in her stream one day. Like, you know, kind of for, like, VTubers and PNG tubers, uh, like, kind of protect your face. Like, but also, it's like, show, do what you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable doing a face reveal, or, like, if you feel obligated for one, don't do it. You're not obligated to. It's your choice. My literal last message here was, I am trying so hard not to fall asleep, but I slept in this morning. Yeah, I remember that. I'm like, you slept in? And then there was, like, no response. I'm like, all right. <laughs> this isn't real. I mean, he was only just here. Yeah, grief, man. I understand. The grief of, like, you know, learning your loved ones are lost. Are lost? Or, you know, you've lost uh, the loss of a loved one. Oh my goodness, my brain. So, yeah, I'm not gonna do a, a big old grandiose face reveal. Even though I know what Blue looks like, because she has a whole bunch of... Cause she used to face cam. She used to be a flesh tuber. But also, one of my favorite clips from Blue is one of the docs clips and it's uh okami <laughs> it's one of my favorite clips it's so funny like i go back to it every now and then if i want a really good laugh <laughs> and not heard the term flush tuber until blue mentioned it yeah that's what the, the vtubers call the face cam people the flush tubers I'm gonna delete a bunch of clips and only keep the really iconic ones. All right, uh, if you delete all of your dox clips, I will probably still dox you with those iconic clips. I, I'll be real. Uh, they're only really gone if you forget them. As long as you cherish your memories of them, he'll live on in your heart. Yep, 100%. I'll never see him again. You can see him again in your memories, yep. And uh, sometimes I still see my parents in my dreams, sometimes. You know, and it feels, like, extremely real. But then I wake up and it's like, oh, You know. Because, uh, yeah, for those who may or may not know, uh, I have lost both my parents. 
and I am just one crazy hairstyle away from becoming an anime protagonist. So that's how I like to think about it, because, you know, humor. Uh, but yeah, there are times where I, I miss my parents and any, like, loved one I have lost. But again, you cherish those memories. You know, you find those memories and you, you know, hold on to those. Uh, as soon as I should be respecting his devotion to his trade. It's fine, you got this. Uh, you also have VTubers whose models are based on their IRL selves, like uh, Cinder, uh, Katie Cat, and Saru, and I'm Not sure many others I'm unaware of. Because they either had no better idea or did it for cosplay reasons. So just by letting that knowledge out there, they are kind of doxing themselves. And I mean, you know, sometimes I get it. Like, if they have, like, no idea, like, what they even want to do. Like... <sighs> Like, if I were to ever transcend into becoming a VTuber, I would have zero idea with what I would even want. You know, and most of, like, you know, my PNGs are essentially just me. And, like, that's how I draw myself all the time. I see that. Oh, I don't have enough super strength. Oh, I do! I do now. <laughs> so, like, I would have, like, no idea. Because, like, I know a lot of people associate themselves with, like, animals. Like, uh, Blue, for example, oh, she's lion. Side. Sylvia, she deer. Uh, and Gihon, he burb. You know, like, I don't really have that animal association. <laughs> so I wouldn't really know what I would even, like, want to do. Careful, kiddo. Oh, hello. Uh... Okay, Riley. So, like, yeah, a lot of people, you know, have, like... Work, a lot of everyone. YouTubers have, like, animals associated with them, or, like, have, like, this specific, uh, gimmick of some kind. Like, I don't even have a gimmick. I'm just myself. You yeah, you draw, Riley. Yeah, I'm not, I'm like just like 100% myself. Yeah, sure. So like I, you know, I wouldn't even know what I would want. Uh, have I been up here before? I think I have. I don't remember. I learned of PNG tuber in Concept 3U, and honestly, I didn't even know what like a PNG tuber like really was until I started doing this. Because when I first started streaming, I'm like, this'll, like, work. I could just have, like, you know, the little, little avatar here. And, uh... And, uh, everything will be great. Bridget died? No, Bridget's right here. Yeah, Bridget is awake. Ooh, treasure trove. I'm crossing my fingers. So Tessa is Peach Mithra IRL wild. How are you not a superstar? Oh well, I mean I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a normal person. I'm just a mom of two kiddos. Oop. Core crystal. Core crystal. Yeah. I mean, if anything, my appearance is more like Princess Daisy. <laughs> you know, red hair, tomboy, whatever. I'm today. You're wearing your shark shirt today, huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm playing. Oh, you have West for me. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I'm just like myself here, you know? But also with like art, I can just dress myself up and it'll be really fun you know because like i like my appearance i don't even know if i would re really change anything or like become an animal i mean like i've always had in my brain like you know it's like my favorite question to ask people is like if you had a superpower what kind of superpower would you have and i've i've always like been attached to like energy manipulation kind of like going back to teen titans like starfire and her star bolts something like that so that's kind of um 
what I would go for in like my superpowers. But like there really isn't like a core like appearance thing. It's more like, you know, the aura, if you will. <laughs> it's a bit rude. What do you mean rude? And it's 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 heartless is what it is. What? Bruh. Shoot baby cakes out your fingertips. If only. Man, I would never stop using it. <laughs> and I would probably gain like 30 pounds from not stop wish. using it. I put my NF wish. Okay, Riley. Uh <laughs> Got to the chase already. Oh, yes, right, fine. <laughs> uh, that's the arcane mage. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the earlier attack has caused a lot of damage to the capital, and the rubble is still being removed. Um. Okay, so we're just on uh, glorified cleanup duty, is, is what you're asking. Danian, yeah, it's fine. Let's think about it. We'll just clean up. Don't you worry. Okay, Riley. But yeah, like, my power has always been, like, energy manipulation. And, like, even since I was, like, you know, a, a teenager, essentially. Um, I've always, like, had this, like, you know, whole, like, lore and everything on, um, you know, how, what the power would entail... And, uh, and, uh, you know, like, story bits, and, like, there's, like, stories I have, like, written, even, like, you know, yes, fanfiction, but, like, again, the, the core story is there. Oh, hey. I'm gonna bust this. What could be inside? Rare sense of justice? How is that coming along? How is the rare sense of justice coming along? Receive an update on the situation. Okay, I'll do that later. I'll do that when I'm done. Uh, what are you talking about again? Oh yeah, like powers and stuff. Like again, like there's one fanfiction. I've I've read a couple of blurbs from it from like you know random line from fanfiction. Uh, it's called Game of Life, I think. And like there's like you know different like perceptions of like you know my character, my OC or whatever. Like... And um. And there's another story with like similar uh, vibes of like the powers, but like different kind of core story. And, uh, they're, like, two different kind of characters. Because, like, one is, like, uh, yeah, she's just, like, super impulsive, uses her energy, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, and then she, like, meets someone, you know, uh, grows close to them. You know, like, they get, like, super close, you know, like, more like, you know, kind of like a romantic interest. And then, um, there is, like, a betrayal. And then, like, she feels, like, super betrayed and, like, becomes, like, super cold and closed off. But then, like, there's, like, a time skip. And, like, you know, she trains and, you know, grows her powers into, like, you know, different cool stuff. And then, you know, there's, like, a whole, like, story arc there. And then in another one, um... It's like this girl, you know, the girl with energy manipulation, um, uh, grows up with uh, her two best friends who are like the same age as she is. And, um, she doesn't have like super great control of her powers, uh, but her two friends, uh, it's, you know, one girl, two guys, you know, the classic, you know, three man group there. Um,. And, uh, like, she doesn't have great control of her powers, but, like, any, like, super powerful situation oh, happens, or, like, super dangerous situation happens, like, the other two kind of take the lead over her, and, um, and, 
uh brain brain do things and uh and then there was a situation that happens where like the the, the three group get the, the group of three gets attacked and um it was a situation where like she ended up hurt and you know her mom is like man we really need to you know figure out something so she doesn't get hurt let's send her to her grandpa who is like you know big master energy manipulation person and let, let's send her to her grandpa for training so she can gain control of her powers so she's not in this situation again so she gets shipped off for like five years i think there's like a five year time skip i think and then she comes back and is like a super super duper badass with her powers um and she's like super her personality kind of did like a 180 in a way like she's super cheerful bubbly whereas before she was like super shy and reserved um but it's still the super cheerful doesn't like hide the fact um that like her the control over her power is still um it's still pretty good but like it still takes a lot of work because like there's a scene Going back, because, you know, inspiration ground, from, say, uh, you know, Teen Titans, like, my one of my favorite episodes, um, of there's a moment where, like, her and one of her friends, like, do, like, a, you know, a body swap, like, their, their soul swap places, so, but they're in each other's bodies, and, um, they try to figure out how to control each other's powers, and, um, because, okay, again, inspiration, um, you know how in, like, Naruto, they have, like, the chakra control, right? And in Shippuden, uh, you know, like, Tsunade has, like, the super strength, but it's, like, amazing chakra control, right? And, like, Sakura learns how to do that and has, like, the super monstrous strength. I kind of took that and, like, made it into, like, the energy manipulation stuff. And, but she also has, like, these, like, really cool, like, energy manipulation, but, like, it's, again, it's, like, almost, like, perfect control of her energy. And, uh friend is like don't worry i'll get us out of here and just like straight up punches a wall and like damn near breaks breaks the hand in her body and uh the girl's like hey that's not how it works <laughs> you're gonna break my hand stop it and then you know it's like one of those like they learn how each other's powers work so you know and stuff like that and like i love stuff like that i don't even have aggro what am i doing What's happening? Oh, I'm st oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's just stuff like that. And, like, part of me really wants to, like, go back and, like, kind of, like, finish writing these stories. Nice. I'm getting some use out of these. Uh, sorry about that. I was trying to warn you not to come any closer. Uh, you're fine. Yay. And I want to say there's like some enemies here, like higher level enemies here that drop some cool stuff. You could put to nature better use. makes a fine ally. I did, Bert. But yeah, like I I got story ideas in my brain. You know, I got lots of stuff and like. I feel like my bread and butter is like supernatural powers and like kind of building a universe, you know, kind of like a, you know, like having like your own, like, not necessarily like magic system or like, you know, just a, hey buddy, you want to die? Um, but like, like superpower system, you know, everyone's got like their powers. Kind of like a my hero with like the quirks, and I do love how the quirk system is. I do love how it works. Like I will say, you know, there are, there's like you know issues with my hero academia, especially with like fans too, because they're awful too. Um, uh Oh damn it. Not quite in time. Uh but yeah. I like 
superpowers and stuff. So I, I looked up a lot about it. I looked up a lot about superpowers, so I, I kind of know a thing or two a little bit and can kind of create ways, you know, to... Because, like, with, like, superpowers, you have to have drawbacks. You have to have, like, limitations or else everyone's just going to be OP, you know? Um, like fire, you know, fire manipulation, pyrokinesis. Um, you know, if you use too much of it, your body's gonna overheat and it will tire you out. And you're also, like, a little bit more susceptible to water. So, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, there's just, there's stuff like that. And, I... Oh, I have level 4 special with the G on again! Let's go! I probably should have swapped the Bridget there and see... Wow, great camera angle! Thanks for giving me the angle of Hugo's butt. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Go get you a drink. Okay, go do it, Riley. Only it were always Yay! You kept your power in check. Nicely done. I did it. Um, and like going back to like you know energy manipulation, like there's a set amount of energy use this in the that of someone lives. can use. Um you know, in a given point in time. And uh, my thing is, like, people have, like, different energy reserves. It's like, you know, if you, if you use up all your energy, you're gonna die. Riley! Thank you. So, like, you gotta come up with, like, drawbacks, too. And, like, there's, you know, it's, lots, it's, it's a big creative process on, on things like that. So, yeah. I didn't even see what was dropped. I did not see. Oh, ooh, yes, please, cause uh, yeah. Well, I feel like swapping Laura to like a water element wouldn't hurt because she is like a second fire element anyway. Cause there's two, and I just have two water elements, and that's a you know a bigger thing. There is an enemy somewhere that drops one of these, but I'll take this, cause that is a lot better than that. So, uh, yeah, we need another seismic sword, because I, I like keeping these guys on their, uh, kind of normal element, per se, so, but I got a little bit better, uh, thing for Laura, so that works. This is where we started the game, look at us. That's so why I kind of wanted to stick here for a second. Alright, uh, let's get back to, uh... We need to go back to the capital, right? Yes. So, yeah. I like superpowers. So, here we are. It's one of those... And I'm not, like, super-duper end-all, be-all knowledgeable on it. I've just done a lot of, like, research on it. I have consumed a lot of media that, you know, uses, like, superpowers and stuff. So... I've just expanded my mind brain on on stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. But like stuff like that, I can like research and talk about for like days and days and days. But give me like a, a history lesson or like reading like books a whole class is supposed to read like read like to kill a mockingbird uh no <laughs> i don't remember a damn thing about to kill a mockingbird i don't <laughs> i'm gonna be real <laughs> or even much of like the shakespearean plays we read you know but, like everyone knows romeo and juliet i kind of half-ass remember macbeth that's really it <laughs> And I know what an Oedipus complex is, because we kind of went over that my sophomore year. <laughs> Tequila Mockingbird, yep, that's how I remember it. But that's really it. Because, like, I hated being forced to read books for, like, English class. I hated it. Because, again, it was something I was not interested in. And if I wasn't interested in it, 
uh, if I wasn't interested in it, I didn't want to do it. So, which is like a lot of like people in schooling and stuff, like give something they, they're interested in and they will just run away with it. And you will be amazed by what kinds of knowledge they can keep in their brain and explain to you. So it's crazy. Uh, I do remember Oedipus Rex. Yeah. And Oedipus Complex. Yeah. Uh, what I remember about To Kill a Mockingbird is it is not, in fact, about killing a mockingbird. You know, I honestly did not even remember that. <laughs> I remember more of Squidward. Okay. <laughs> Squid Game. Yeah, no, it's fine. I understand now. But yeah, like, give you, like, a media someone is, like, you know, a little bit more versed in and has, like, knowledge of. Like, again, it'll blow your mind how much Thank they can you. they can tell you. Like, Allie, my nine-year-old, is to the point where um, she's, like, not a big fan of school because she actually has to do the work and it's not fun anymore. But, like, next time talk to her see. about, like, wrestling and dude. She will talk your socks off about wrestling in a heartbeat. No, I don't need to go there. I need to go here, I believe. I think bro's in the harbor? I can't remember. I need to... It's fine. But yeah, like, talk to her about, like, wrestling, and it will... It'll amaze you. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. What's that, Mac Mac? Oh, hey, a green barrel right here. Let me bust it open. What could be inside? And also, uh, barrels do count towards the lock picking, by the way. They do count towards, like, chests and you can open. By the by, in course of investigation into red polynorms, Mac Mac here, all sorts of rumors about Prince Adam. All good, of course. Say how Prince uh, and friends are wonderful people and so on. Make Mac Mac happy and be acquainted. But for Mac Mac, this is still not enough. Are this still not enough? Ernest, uh, Prince Adam's Red, love, justice, anyone. Uh, in due time, most all people torn out of Gorma become fans of Team Adam. Also, friends garner much attention, make investigation secret easier. Uh, fate of everything is riding on shoulders of friends. No pressure from side, Mac Mac, or anything. You will need the support of many people to progress in this quest. Help others out as much as you can to build up your community, then talk to Mac Mac. Cool! More community locked shit. Love it. Love to see it. What a terrible anyway. chore. But yeah, that, again, that's like one of my favorite questions. Like, you know, it's it's always like an icebreaker question. Like, oh, if you could have any superpower you want, what would you have? You could put and like, and, like a, a lot of people, like the go-tos are flight and mind reading. Those are like the, the two... Those are like the two go-tos. I jumped enough times. Let's go. I did it. Now I can get that one thing in the desert. I can't focus only on attacking. Yay. And also gain community. I love it. The light in me is stronger for some reason. Because I jumped too many times. Okay, Riley. You mean I haven't gone in here yet? Oh, okay. That's a comeback later. Oh, that's a Barney Stone. It's a Barney Stone. Oh, hello. Favorite superhero? <gasps> Probably going back to Teen Titans again, you know? I love the Teen Titans. You know, like Robin, Cyborg, Beast Boy, Raven, and Starfire. I love them. I love them so much. AoE! AoE! I love the AoE, yeah. Fine, don't worry about it. Guard. Bam. Haha, -ha, loser! Uh, welcome back, DA. Yay. 
get some that. I should probably see what I can craft from like Hugo and Adam. I've never really done that. And they're like the, hey, you can do like, you know, lure enemies and cool effects and stuff. Essentially like the, the shop deeds shit. Uh, oh no, Bridge could do a break on, on the swap. Oh shit. I do it fine. Oh shit! I did it too early. Crap! Oh, you do burn out. It's fine. It's fine. And bam. Hey, give me the aggro. There we go. Bam. Uh, Beast Boy Powers would be cool. Yeah, shape shift into any animal you want. Ain't, ain't crazy. Like, probably an animal. Like, the limitation is, like, any animal he has seen. Because, uh, there's that one episode where he becomes essentially, like, a, a beast. Like a, like a werewolf type thing. And then, uh, later on, uh, he can, uh, become that, that werewolf thing. Because he had, he had been it before and has, like, the, the DNA makeup for it. Shall we keep moving? I'm crossing my fingers. Secret pot blueprint. What is that? Oh, stuff for that. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably say like you know Teen Titans and stuff are you know a good go-to. Or is that the... There's a big old crater. Mm. Yeah, I think, okay, that's... I'm trying to like look at the map here. <laughs> All right, let's just go to a thing. Starfire test a when? Uh, I don't know. We can't dally Maybe I can make that like a, a goal or something. We can add that to like the costume alley. changes. Cause I'm all I'm always down for more costume changes. Cause I know once we're done with Xenoblade 2, we're gonna add uh, Zeke and something else to the pool. Cause like the Zeke costume change is like way too good. Now let me see. Ooh, I can make one of these specials recharge. Pretty good. Hell pretty yes. Pretty good. Oh, three. I like specials One. recharge. Uh, who Adam. else? With Adam can make more things. Oh, I can make this? I didn't discover rate. Oh, yes, please. It turned out rather well. Uh, I'm missing one inverse bearing. Uh, trust increases. Ooh, that'd be good. Uh, Mithra. Time what can Mithra now? Oh, that the, the, okay. Um... I guess I can make this just because I can. Because I know I need to make all of Mithra's Probably. stuff for her chart. Um, here we go. Shall we get started? Armor and Rucksack. Uh, Max, yes, please. Success. Jamming megaphone decreases enemy detection range. Hell yeah. Phew. Finished. And then rock hard plaster. What are you? Increases battle experience. Yo, let's go. Phew. Finished. And I know you can make this. You can make the griddle cakes. Does it suit your tastes? Uh, okay. Does it suit your tastes? Yeah. Uh, seeing style fry up. How do you like it? I'm sure they all have a thing. It's like, hey, use and make. Oh, I just need to get stuff for that. And that's uh, Marin fish meat. All right, that'll probably happen when it happens. <laughs> Uh, I was the only one among my classmates as a kid who liked Raven, and now as an adult, everyone and their mom has a Raven bias. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Like, everyone wasn't really, like, the biggest fan of Raven. I loved Raven as a kid. I, I did like both Raven and Starfire because, like, of course, I was a little girl, and they were, you know, girls. So, of course, I made that correlation, right? And it was like really, really cool, you know, see people like me, you know, be cool badasses. I want to be a cool badass when I grow up, you know, stuff like that. Um, and also Starfire being a redhead. 
I mean, hello, it was right there, written in the stars. Nature sure. makes a fine ally. But I feel like my personality can definitely be like a fusion of like Starfire and Raven. Now that I'm like older and like grown, a grown adult. Will Tessa channel her inner violence? Find out on Tessa Jane Z. I guess, yeah, we'll find out. There's apparently a couple more secret areas, and I have no idea where they are for, for Minoth stuff. And I remember that episode where Raven and Starfire switch bodies? Yeah, I was talking about that uh, earlier, because that's one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, that is one of my favorite episodes of Teen Titans, is when they swap bodies. You could because, uh, yeah, they had to, like, learn how each of their powers worked. All right, fine. You want to fight? We'll fight. I'll give you a fight. Hey. I'm not got it. He's got to take care of. Uh, I sure. Ma'am. Yeah, that's one of my favorite episodes. Uh, Nevermore, the one where Cyborg and Beast Boy go to, uh, Raven's Mind. That one is, uh, one of my favorites. Um, the Mad Mod episodes, those are always good. Hey, you're over here, buddy. There we go, come on. There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, let's not. Let us. It's not and say we didn't. I'll be for you in a second. Just hold on. Uh. Yeah, like the Raven and Starfire swapping bodies. Gave a little inspiration. Uh, second son, go! Hey. I'm gonna be pissed off after when she had a channel happiness to fly with comedy gold. Yeah, because like Raven's powers are like you have to keep your emotions under control, and Starfire's were solely reliant on emotions. So it was it was so cool to see like that dynamic in action. It's nothing really. All right, what is even happening now? So uh yeah, like that that's one of my favorite episodes. Oh, I probably could have kept. Minoth's not even out anyway. Uh, Aqua 3, sure, we'll finish it off. Hi, Riley. Yes, Riley. Come on, Riley. Let me finish this battle first and then we can go, okay? There's more of you! Go away, people! Eh. Oh no, Adam, why? Why'd you leave me? I want play combo. Fuck, of course I swapped the Geon out! Buddy, hey, let's not. Uh, what is, what is the last one? What, what is the last one? Lightning, lightning. Oh, water electrolysis. That's what it is. That was a lot of battling. All for this. Where is the? Where is it? There was like a chest I was after, and bros are just attacking me. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm sleepy again. Blue, how much sleep did you get over the weekend? Did you withdraw too much from your sleep bank? I like fear itself. That one was really good. And Ozzy, hello, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, there's no Starfire season, but I guess uh, there was an episode where her sister, her home planet, her arc. I wanted there to be a full-on Starfire arc. I wanted it to happen. What could be inside? 
Sorry, do I know you? Ha, that's funny. That's funny. All right. Um, are you ever not? Am I ever not? Lol. <laughs> but that one time in the water temple. Yeah, the water temple. <laughs> Electrolytes. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, in uh, I want to say seventh grade, me and a friend of mine did a science fair experiment on electrolysis, and we got like fourth place in our uh, category, which was a, a demonstration. <laughs> Because there's like demonstration and experiment, and uh, ours were a demonstration. Okay, Riley is streaming. We've cracked the code, people. What a terrible I know the drill. Drill. Uh, it's a poor return for an energy investment. I think it's just more overstimulation from vending all weekend. I totally get it. Yeah, I want my money back. Dragon Ball sparkling electrolyte water. Yeah. An electrolyte water that we can find in Mario Party Jamboree. I have no idea where I'm going, what I'm doing, or who, what, when, or why. I have no idea. I'm just rolling around at his speed as can. Also, I'm fighting Riley for the controller right now. It's kind of Riley. <laughs> I know you want to play the game, but Mama needs the controller right now. Okay. You could put me to better to use. And you are probably voice. gonna get mad because a three-year-old does not like to be told no. That's just typical toddlers. All right. You could put me to better use. <laughs> I popped two tires and would replace them in bed and I cracked my wheel too. Oh my goodness, Ozzy. Is everything okay? That sounds awful. That sounds awful. Isn't there like a... I mean, I'm in the nature preserve, but I don't... Bro. Oh, is there like anywhere? Oh, there was a, there was a thingy over here. That's right. That I couldn't do. Because, you know, lock picking. Where? Where? Over here. <laughs> I could not find it. What? Where? Oh, it's right here. I'm crossing my fingers. Goodness. <laughs> $1,600. Poof. Oof. That's rough. I'm so sorry. That's a lot of money to lose all at once. Yes, Riley. You could put me to better I'm use. Playing the game. Riley is streaming. Yes, she is. <laughs> think you could go... Riley, can you think you could go that way? Go up. Can you go up? There you go. There you go, kiddo. I go up. Keep going up. Can you go to the right? Do you know where the right is? That, that way. Yeah, that way. There you go. Now go up again. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Hopefully things look up for you, because that sounds crazy. <laughs> Riley really is streaming, yep. She, she's she's controlling Bridget right now. I My hands are off the controller. Well, I got one hand kind of on it, but it's on the button side. She is I'm fully in control. You're doing good. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully I get that money back at some point. And if not, then you know what? Life sucks sometimes. <laughs> I go up. I go up <laughs> Smiling anyway, yep. Sometimes that's all you can do. It's almost out the door. Drive home. Now I gotta rent a car because the wheel has the order from Infinity. Damn. You're doing good as she's running <laughs> into a rock. I mean, hey. She's doing her best. I need to... Up. Yeah, I can run up a little bit. Granted, I don't know what I'm doing, so it's fine. I'm not gonna start saying, at least it's all over now or anything. I don't trust the universe right now. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. The universe has funny ways. All right, thank you, Riley. I'm back in control now. Let's go over this way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I probably ought to just go find some more side quests to do. Cause, uh, let's check my community. Boo, we want Riley. You want Riley? I need two for... Uh... I need two for... 
I don't have the mining, but I can do I can do that one. Not Riley. What am I, chopped liver? We must stay vigilant. We're gonna, we're gonna no, we're gonna we're gonna go fall in that hole over there. We're gonna go fall right here. No, up, 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 Riley. Okay, stop. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> it really is an added challenge for this, huh? There we go. Sure. A ruby pineapple. All right. All right. Let us. Uh, over here. Okay. Uh. In the fuel economy, maybe. <laughs> so where are you uh. taking us? We can't dally all day. Uh, up. We can go up. Over here, over here, over here. No. Ah! Okay, there we go. Ah! <laughs> Chopped kidneys. Uh, you know, liver really isn't all that bad with some onions, nicely salt, nicely sauteed. What's we happening? Would be more than happy to assist. Okay. I press them. Can I see it, Riley? Thank you. You're welcome. Ah. Uh... Yep, I'm skip traveling. <laughs> Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. All right, down here. Like I didn't even pay attention to anything, <laughs> so I have no idea what's going on. Uh, okay. Just gather this up. All right, easy enough. Oh, let me try again. Favorite food: nachos or chicken nuggets. Favorite dessert: cake. Favorite ice cream flavor: cookies and cream. Favorite snack: cake, baby cakes. You got it. There you go. You've aced the quiz. <laughs> You've done it, Johnny. Good job. <laughs> I got it. I mean, I, I'd like to think I'm pretty simple. Riley? Riley? I go up. Riley? I gotta pick up the things. There we go. Uh, can I talk to you all for a moment? What's on your mind, Jin? Didn't think it's strange. Forest may be close. Huh, maybe some passerbys. I don't think that's very likely the gate. Why would someone... Why would someone? Not a reason? What? Prank? A prank? But who would do something like that? The clues, yeah. Look over there. <laughs> Riley! It's more than before. These cleared out someone's litter. Riley, can I see, please? Riley. I go up. I go up. Riley. I go up. <laughs> Nachos and chicken nuggets are pretty good answers. I'd add fried chicken to that, like some side of road chicken's shack. Nice. I'm ready for a bachelor's degree in Tessa Jane studies. So dumb. I was like, what is road chicken? Like, roadkill? <laughs> What's tuition cost for that kind of credential? Uh, you just have to stop by and stream. That's really a... Night falls. It would be wise for us Because I am shelter. very much an open Perhaps book. Perhaps we should rest a little to alleviate the fatigue. It's dark. Husband has presented me with a Gatorade. <gasps> Gatorade. H2O. Gatorade. Electrolyte juice. What? Okay. What What color Gatorade? That, that, real question. What color Gatorade? Um, Impressive treat. You could put me I'm to something of an expert. <laughs> well, I never had deep fried roadkill before. I think I'd probably pass. <laughs> I should be an adventurous eater, but I got limits. Yes. Water sucks. I hate water. <laughs> if it's flavored water, yes. Absolutely. Made with real gators. That's exactly what my dad would say. That's exactly what my dad would say. Because he's also so like, yeah, Girl Scout cookies. Made with real Girl Scouts. Light blue for fortitude, mana, restoration. Gotcha, gotcha. Because, like, the color of Gatorade is definitely dependent on a lot of things. 
Like, I know my dad always had the, the lemon lime, the yellow Gatorade, a lot. So I was just used to that and burnt out on it. If I'm ever, like, sick and I need to get a Gatorade, I usually get the red one. I usually get Fruit Punch. But if I'm, like, out and about, it's usually, like, blue or purple. Whatever they got. Now, Pontic Nine... No, really, this is funny. I want to read this. Yoku, 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 and friends. Yay. Man, that's right. They're just Team Rocket. You're all saying different things. Blue is for recovery. Yellow is for sick. Red is for sports. Blue is for recovery. The four musker puns! Yes, Riley. Say hi, Sylvia. Say hi, Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Sylvia was live? Yeah, I saw her go live. Hello, Sylvia! <laughs> hello, hello! And hello, Raiders! Hello, JT! Hello, Stelvac! Explosion! <gasps> me! I'm a little gremlin! You can't <gasps> stop me! I'm a little gremlin! She's a gremlin! Me! <laughs> oh, we got some coal! Me! 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 Sylvia is a little gremlin. Love that. Love that. And hello, Sylvia. Thank you for the raid. And hello, raiders. My name is Tessa Jane. I am a variety streamer. And today is Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, the Golden Country, which is the DLC story to Xenoblade 2. Which, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Welcome, when to go, raiders. Yeah, I saw you were uh, doing Until Dawn, like achievement hunting. How did that go? Or like trophy hunting, rather. That's the term. How'd that go? How was your stream? Hopefully it was good. And hello, Jade. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope everyone is having a good day. I yeah, I, I saw Sylvia live. I noticed she was live. But I also had my own obligation for stream, so yeah. A lot of achievements while just going for one. Gotcha. Nice. Sometimes that, that happens. Uh, blue is for math, red is for English or history. We've had this discussion before. I mean, but yeah, blue, I believe blue was math for me. And red was like reading. And yellow was history. And purple was science. And green was English. <laughs> um, but yeah. And hello. Did I say hi to JT? I did. Four Muscapon Quest. Yeah! <laughs> Slept all morning? Yeah. Blue is just a sleepy. She's a sleepy. She is a sleepy. <laughs> but glad everything will. Riley, hold on. Riley wants to do everything. Again, for everyone's lives. Yeah, because I know uh, I had the original Until Dawn. And I, uh, I played it last year, and then I, I killed everyone in a second playthrough back in January. Riley, no, don't touch it. Mama's not touching it, so Riley doesn't need to touch it, okay? Academic Gatorade. Sounds like fancy Gatorade. You somehow drink knowledge? Yeah, Blue is for fighting. Blue is fighting for her life right now. <laughs> Played it like six times. Uh, and just speaking of like, you know, Until Dawn, uh, I'm not playing Until Dawn, but I am playing The Quarry this Thursday. Or starting it this Thursday, rather. So that'll be really exciting. I have a plan. I have a plan, and we're gonna go for like a specific achievement for it, so. Nah, we agreed yesterday we would go with Nobotic 9 minus 5. You really gotta make me think of math? <laughs> Such a good party game. Try negotiating, give peace a chance. Yeah. Did you watch Jimmy Neutron? Oh my goodness, yes, Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Even Stelvac was there? Yeah. Man, Stelvac show one blew up. See you, Tessa Quarry Run. Yeah, I, again, I have seen it played a couple times. My husband played it last year. I have not played it myself, but I want to go for a specific run, and I want to see how it goes. <laughModview> All my friends are there, and I didn't even know because ModView doesn't show me who else is live. How dare. How dare, Blue. <laughs> Play Diablo Delicious. Come with Gatorade. Oh, nice. But it flows so badly, can I just tack on minus five again? What problem with four muskerpod? Never man, why so many dumb names? It's clear Yoku. Yoku Yoku and friends is superior choice. 
Uh, excuse me, uh, whatever your name is, can we talk for a second? Hey, Blair Nose. Okay, Blair Nose Riley. Meme! Why exactly are you strewing litter around everywhere? <laughs> because I think you should know that a sweet old lady asked us to clean it up for her so she can enjoy her walk. Would you please just stop this and go somewhere else? Meh, Granny Opha is upset with us! Granny, you know her. We sorry. We'll try to behave in future, meh. Oh, right. Well, I'm glad you understand. That was surprisingly easy. As if! Ha! Okay, Riley, I need you to get off my lap because my left foot is falling asleep. Ah! And it's tingling so bad! Ah! Ah! Anyway. Okay, good job, Riley. Can you go throw it away? <laughs> Corey's such an awesome story. Yeah, Corey's good. My husband has gone on record to say that the quarry is like better than Until Dawn. But there's like, I'd say there's like, uh, things that each of them are pretty good at. You Zoe, pack up and leave? Think again. Musker pond to me. We retreat for now, but we be back soon. Big bro, you always know what to do. Running away is also kind of victory. I mean, it was Xenoblade that told us that running away is a valid tactic. <laughs> I mean, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and one of the little tutorial pop-up thingies was like, running away is a valid tactic. Hey, those little nippers. I think it's safe to let them go. We've already singled them out. We need only identify them one by one and this matter will be resolved. Looks like they ran towards the capital. All right then, we'll ferret them out one at a time, like Hugo said. We'd better go and tell Ofa about all this. Yay! Anyway. I'm gonna take you back. All right, well, uh, I'd say. Let's give drive a little bit. <laughs> Tingling is the worst. It really mobilizes you with the tingle the traps. Yes, I know. Whoa, Laura, whoa! <laughs> Hard or and everything crazy. I know, Laura, language. Uh, I didn't put on my schedule, so... <laughs> nice. Alright, uh... Okay, go get drink, Riley. Where are we going? Where are we going? Hey, buddy. Hey, Boo. <laughs> You're just advancing towards future victory. Exactly! You found Ruru. Uh, sorry, Brother Pawn. Please not let sacrifice of Ruru be in vain. It's all this talk of sacrifice. Children shouldn't speak such things. Now hurry along and apologize to the lady. Yes. And like, children shouldn't speak such things. Um, I learned this, I think, last week. Apparently. Well, uh, I don't know what kids are up to these days, right? Like, I, I don't even have a clue what kids are up to these days. Um, but Allie told me, uh, like, as we were getting ready for bed last week, she told me that one of uh, the girls in her class told her, You don't have a dad! And... Uh, when she told me that, my jaw just, like, dropped. Like, what? Like, why would a kid tell another kid that? Why would a child say that? Like, you don't have a dad. It's like, bro, what? And Ellie told me, she said, uh, yes, I do. And there was a whole argument. She told the teacher and everything. Um, but yeah, it's like, bro, what? Kids these days, man. I I don't know with them anymore. That's mean. I know. I go get a hydrate. Okay, go get your hydrate. But yeah, it's like, dude. Like my child tends to say I like that kind of like drama, drama, because like you know some people's children, right? Uh. Hi. Gotcha, gotcha. <gasps> yeah! Uh, insane. Uh, have y'all made the switch to the blue sky yet? Since it no longer lets you opt out of AI feeding? 
Uh, I know there's like a, there's a setting in there, but like you really have to like dig, but like it's insane. I do have a blue sky. I do have one. And it's same, Tessa J in 18, you know, same old, same old. Uh, I haven't really posted much on it, but yeah. Uh, wow, that's me. Yeah, I saw my cousin who was like 14 or 15 and dude, the stuff their classmate says to her is insane. Like I was laughing at how absolutely insane they were. Uh, remind me to explain data scraping to you. Blue Sky is worse about it than Twitter, is it? I know a lot of people are swapping and I, I did see like, like, yeah, I do have a Blue Sky. I have like two posts on it. But like, again, like Twitter, it's just, Twitter just sucks. Because, like, the whole, like, blocking thing. That was, like, bro. Uh. Yeah, because, like, blocking on Twitch is essentially just they can't, like, follow, sub to you, or whisper to you. Um. That still doesn't stop them from going to their profile and, like, watching VODs. It doesn't stop you from doing that. Uh. Um, okay, Riley. Um, uh, but now with like, you know, Twitter's blocking, well, it's gonna get changed to, um, you can still see their, they can still see your stuff, but they can't interact with you. Where the hell am I going? Back here, maybe? Well, there's a... Okay. Nature sure. makes a fine ally. <gasps> Wee. Oh, there's a thingy back here. Ah! Um, I should probably look with no dad overhearing that. Yeah, and like... So... <sighs> Yeah, I was like, bro, you don't tell someone. You don't have a dad. You don't say that. You don't say that to someone. But yeah, it did get taken care of. As far as I know. But like, also, like, you don't know the kids. So it's like, dude. Ah. Uh, oh, there's a chest back here. You could put me to I don't know that. Use. TLDR is Twitter will feed your data to grok its own personal AI, but Blue Sky will feed your data to literally any AI, including Meta's Apple. Okay. Like, I haven't really done anything with Blue Sky, so, like, I have, like, no clue. I just know it was, like, kind of built to be, like, a Twitter alternative. But, like, there is a... Like, there is a setting to, like, turn that off, but, like, it's just automatically on. Which, that's stupid. <laughs> in my opinion. It's much... Upfront about feeding the AI. Blue Sky doesn't tell you about days screaming. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is Twitter because switching is a lot of effort. I also don't think Blue Sky has strong enough branding to last long term as a competitor. I agree with that too. Like, I just have one just to have one, you know, and I don't really do anything. I made like, I have like two posts on it. Where the hell am I going? Is there anything down here? I don't know. Is there more detail? All right, gotcha, gotcha. So we'll tune in the blue to hear her yap about that. But yeah, I like I still have Twitter. I will still probably primarily use Twitter, and like I have one just to have one. Hmm. Says you're right there, but where? No, that's the womb. I want the rear gate. <gasps> Did I still find myself talking about bully memories from junior high to my therapist? That's so safe. It future. really does. Like, uh, I mentioned earlier with, like, you know, my homecoming queen candidate stuff. And, uh, one of the girls nominated was, uh... Oh, I can't move that yet, can I? I cannot. Oh, hard luck. Uh... Found you. Um, 
because like one of the girls like completely forgot I existed and is like, okay, I'll paint the picture for you. It's freshman PE, right? And our unit is basketball. Uh, we all had to pair up to practice passing the ball, like regular chest passes, bounce passes, overhead passes, you know, the works. Um, and everyone was pairing up. And of course I was just like, you know, the shy, quiet person. So no one really approached me. So I went to the coach like, hey, can we find, you know, someone? And, um, and then as I approach, like, you know, the teacher, this girl comes up like, hey, can I join these three? There's nobody left. And I'm like standing right next to her. And the teacher's like, hey, there's Tessa right there. And then she turns and looks at me. It's like, oh, I didn't see you there. And I'm like, I've been next to you this whole time. I, you looked at me and you're like, oh, I didn't see you. It's like, bitch. A uh, bitch! Oh, I think I have an idea where you are, buddy. But yeah, like, that stuff, like, stays with you. It really, really does. Yeah, okay. I have an idea. Up oh, we go. Yeah, OPE, yep, Bully's home turf. And like, I wasn't like, I was athletic. And the thing is with me, I got along better with guys than girls, just cause like core personality and stuff. Um, and, um, I always went like all out in PE cause uh, in the fall, like during this time, it's always like ultimate volleyball where the two volleyball nets were set up for like, you know, high school volleyball, high school, middle school volleyball. And uh, we did like ultimate volleyball, which was like play a big game of volleyball across both nets. And I was like going all out, diving all over the place. And like all the guys were, like, yeah, she's a beast, you know? So it was easy for me to like kind of gain like male attention in that way. Like, yo, she's cool. Uh, but then like, I always got ignored everywhere else. So yeah, it's one of them. A bully's power doubles during PE, also at bus stops. Yeah. Been on familiar ground. Yep, and I never really had like bully bullies. Um, I was more ignored than bullied. My husband was bullied until he had a glow up between his sophomore and junior year of high school. Like, he, uh, was like six foot, 230. I don't know how much he weighed. I'm just giving you, you know, whatever. And then between sophomore and junior year, he shot to like six, four, 200. You know, he shot up to be like tall and skinny and like, you know, got hot. And everyone gave him attention, you know. So, yeah. Does everybody need for you to run away? She wasn't going to grow fangs and gobble you up or anything. Grow fangs? Eat Ruru -ru up? Old woman Ofa can do that? Meh. Kacha kacha, the good to eat is full of vended hooves and flavorings. Kome. Komemi is too gummy anyway. Or Komemi too gummy anyway would not be able to chew. I said she won't eat you. <laughs> now let's all calm down here for a second. I'll, I take it you had a good reason to do what you did? You were probably only scattering litter on these on the days that Miss Ofa had her walk, weren't you? Wait, really? It's because we're feeling lonely. Katcha Katcha, please shut mouth trap. Old lady always nice to us every time we visit shop. Always have friendliest conversation. With so much fun and plenty of free time for Musker Pond, made point of visiting every day. But then all that changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Oh. Also predominantly heterosocial for similar reasons. Yeah. Uh, after Miss Ova leave, Stahl was always on her own by self. Always taking walks to forests, looking up at sky. So Musker Pond had only one option. You wanted to give her some company. But you were too embarrassed to show it, so you hid and played pranks on her instead. No, that all wrong. We do it to be mean to her. Make life difficult for. Sure, you did. All right, now I understand everything. Oh, you silly billies. I appreciate the sentiment, but you're forgetting one important thing. What we for what? What we forget? I go on my walk to the forest because I enjoy having a little bit of peace and quiet. I wasn't at all lonely. <laughs> Not lonely. 
Then Ruru will stop littering now. Whole plan was maybe big mistake in first place. From now on, for Muscarpon, aim to have new mission. We'll have to shake brain box, but we'll find special something only Muscarpon can do. And when that done, no guarantees, but might even bother to drop by time to time and say hello. Is that so? Well, I do look forward to seeing you all again. Yay! Yay! Kacha kacha! Very glad. It is difficult for brother pa for brother Ruru to speak honest, but he not mean bad. Meh meh, happy ending for all. Three cheers for four Muscarpon. Hey, shit traps, all of you. <laughs> Love it. You've been through a lot of the for this old woman. Now I can enjoy my walks with a peaceful mind. Thank you, sincerely. You're very welcome, ma'am. Now, boys, no more falling out, do you hear? Yay. <laughs> or I guess because I wasn't good at sports and received all the judgment. Yeah. It feels good. I need one more. One more for my commuter level four. But don't worry, I don't plan on beating the game as soon as possible. Because there's still a lot to do. Next time you help yourselves. Yay! Now then. Ooh, recipe NG stir fry. Mithra, come back. You want Mithra? Yeah. Alright, there's Mithra. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, like I was. And like, anytime, you know, it's like for, you know, sports, like the, the cafeteria style picking of the teams. Like, I was always, like, picked last or close to last because everyone always forgot about me and everyone always picked their friends first. But anytime I was captain, I always picked and built the best team. And, like, I played a fucking win. <laughs> what? You got a hundred thousand money? I wish I had a hundred thousand money. What is happening? What? We never turn a blind eye to people in need. So high bed, colorable, shimmy, mimi. Okay. Um. I would assume the higher rarity. That's fourteen. Uh huh. Let's see, what do I have plentiful of? Melosian honey. That's a lot. Melosian honey is a lot. Okay. What you? That's not much. Dilemma rock? Not much. Uh, I have a bunch of these! Yep, I have a bunch of these, so let's get them sold. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, yay, girly pun. Yeah. Community gain. Yeah, I'd say probably just because, like, you know, I was like more into sports. I was fairly athletic, and um, and I was. Uh, you know, like, more into video games. Like, video games and sports. Like, yeah, I kind of talked more easily with guys and girls. Because I wasn't, like, into, like, the typi typical girly things. Yay! There's a whole bunch of quests and stuff we can do. Where is... Alright, where is our buddy? So now, uh, we can advance the story a little bit. What? Oh, okay. This is just like, hey, here, here we go. Uh, if it wasn't for all your support, we might have never been able to pull this off. I thank you in the name of Torna. I don't know why you're thanking me. I'm a knight now, remember? And you know what else? I'm really starting to like this place. You get to see so many different walks of life here. It's, it's it's a real melting pot. I've noticed that. So many intertwining lives all together in one place. I have felt the same about the cities of Maradane. 
There's much to like about their urban and in... ah, I can't read. You're making me want to pay a visit now. Then we can all go together. We'll finish off my loss and take Hugo back to home. We'll take Hugo back home personally. Oh yes, please. We will welcome you with open arms. The streets will be awash with cheer. Uh, I'd appreciate if we can skip any of the formal stuff. Hey, listen. Do you think we'll even stand a chance against Malos? Haven't a clue. His power seems far off in the charts. Couldn't even guess. He still has his limits. And besides, Adam's never been able to handle me as effectively as he can now. That's right! Master Adam's more than prepared to take that creep down now. And we'll be right there to watch it happen, won't we, Mick? We've come this far. May as well go see it through. Those lads. You're not serious? Do you know how dangerous it is to even... To be even remotely near Malos? Just by tagging along with us, you're putting your lives on the line. Oh, and I suppose we've been perfectly safe up till now. Uh, up till now as well, have we? We know what we're getting into, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. Mithra, drop it. Come on, let's head back to the inn. I want to get a good night's sleep before the decisive battle. Very wise. I really have to talk this through with Mikhail and Milton. <sighs> All right, so uh, yeah, there's our there's our buddy that we need, Irissa. Hello. Meet you out of the community. Lots of my friends share similar stories, though they got treated bad by other girls. Yeah. And, uh, being treated badly by other girls is a trend that just continues in my life, I guess. I just find the wrong people sometimes. You have our gratitude. But you know what? Some people just grow apart. And that's okay. And some people get mad at other people for things that are not in your control. And that's also okay, I guess. Um... It'll be fine. We can rest. It'll be fine. Malos is heading for Torna's core. In the original configuration, the core is in the Titan's thorax. But the Titan hasn't shown signs of transforming yet. You think the Aegis is taking a nap or something? <laughs> that would be fortunate a nap, for us. Like a Patton and Blue nap. That mountain ridge makes up the upper body. That's where the core should appear. It will take some time before the troops are organized. Let us go on ahead. We depart in the morning. Uh, yeah, about that. It's probably gonna be a while before we even go. This sucks. <laughs> Just our funny boys, I'll treat you bad too. Problem solved. Uh, I, I have with you. found those people too. People go. just suck. <laughs> Way lame. The battle ahead is unlike any we've known before. Please remember that. Jin, can't you tell them? I swear we won't get in the way. No, Milton. No. In this battle, you'd be a distraction. Ugh. One way to put it. <laughs> Milton, you'll be a great help to Adam. If you stay in the capital. <laughs> These guys are just kids, too. Come on. Don't you get it? You're not hearing them. Okay? You'd be no help on the battlefield. In fact, protecting you from Malos would take all my energy. But, hey... I mean, if you stay here and keep Mikhail out of trouble, <laughs> we'll be able to fight the way we should. That's what they're saying. I don't need looking after. Uh. See? You understand, don't you? What you need to do to help Adam? Make me a promise. Promise? That you'll kill Malos and bring Adam back no matter what. Yeah. 
I promise. Great. Then we each know what we have to do. All right. Done deal. Hmm. Surprisingly diligent. You need some help? Nah. Just still in time. If you want to talk, I'm not sure I'm your guy. Keeping a journal, huh? Bridget's into it too. Is that like a thing now? Who knows? Mm. I am what I am, and so is she. You know, when your driver dies, you'll return to your core. It feels kind of futile. There's nothing strange about wanting to know who you used to be once you reawaken. You can't be sure you'll even find it, though, right? Even so. Nothing's for certain, but it's some hope at least. Mm, some hope. That's a blade's lot. But mm -hmm. what's the point? To keep the bond with your driver alive. The bond? Mm -hmm. I guess that's a little difficult for you to understand. Hey, don't be mean. <laughs> you make it sound like I have no heart. <sighs> Debatable. <laughs> kidding. What I meant was, the true connection that's meant for you, I don't think you'll find it here. But Adam's my driver. Sure, he is. But I feel it's not the same, somehow. Huh? Your real affinity lies in the future, not in the time we're in now. I just feel that in my bones. Feels it in his jellies. Call it Blade's intuition. Hmm. Sounds kind of vague. We already know what that's about because I played the base game first. To change the subject. We know exactly what Thanks for before. For what? I didn't expect it. You were both so hopeless with the kids. <laughs> so hopeless I couldn't just watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll consider myself told. <laughs> Liz missing the scenes. I know. She gonna be so mad at me, but that's okay. The VODs exist. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to jump into this either, so it's fine. Figured I might as well get this over with. Because just because we're advancing the story a little bit doesn't mean we're gonna take on the rest of the story right now. Because I'd say we're about done right now. I did what I wanted to accomplish today and that's about it. See, I'm using the word heterosocial because it looks so much like heterosexual, and, I, and people think I mean something else. Gotcha. Never seen heterosocial in my life. If we were in person, I'd be smiling and nodding like I understood. So, <laughs> yes. I have a question of the day: How involved are you in your communities? Could be IRL communities, could be online communities, could be whatever. Uh, here's Mala doing the thingy. Cool. Uh. Kind of be friends with members of the opposite gender more often than your own gender. Yeah. Uh, I volunteer at my church sometimes. That's so pushes me so <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, with cracked wheels at the end of that. Uh, kind of that, I guess. Interesting. Yeah. And guess what? Our Titan is awaking. I mean, he was already awake. It's just a little bit more fancy. They're a little fancier, rather. Wow, textures. Could you load a little faster? Hey, buddy. That's the Tornan Titan's true form. And the big old core crystal. Is Malos there? Essentially that. There's no time. Keep moving. 
Uh, you say keep moving, but... Part information has changed because we don't have Milton and Mick anymore. They are out of our party. Uh... Reach Malas. Uh, that is essentially, I think, the last, uh, like, story beat. But there's still plenty of things to do. I'm something of an expert. So I feel like we'd rather just get things maxed out. What do you say? What do you say? And also, we're done mandatory side questing. Riley, where's... Uh oh I just realized, like, Riley wasn't in my line of sight, so I panicked, and I didn't know what she was doing. So I make sure she was okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that little freak out. With the mustache, is cool looking. Yee. Uh, alright, let's head back. Because there's, there's plenty of stuff left for us to do, because there's still way more community. But yeah, we're, we're done mandatory side questing. Uh, now we can do all the optional side quests because there's still plenty of stuff to do. <laughs> there is still plenty to do. Behind the wheel of a car was she? No, she was in the bedroom. I, I don't know what she was doing though, but she's not hurt or anything. Because it's when they're out of your eyesight and they are quiet is when you need to worry. <laughs> And I believe Milton and Mick should be in here somewhere. I want to say. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. They're somewhere. They are somewhere. But. And if we look at our community. And also, look, our, our background has changed from the, the capital to the, the Torn and Titan. So, uh, yeah. And also, we have 15 to the next level of community. Uh. So, yeah. Uh, let's track you. Just knocking at the door, I'll be right back. Nothing bad. It was just my neighbor. That's the nice one. Because, you know, there's always, like, some nice neighbor, you know. Alright, where is our broski? He's somewhere around here. Broski's somewhere around here. Because, I mean, we this is a really good spot to stop for the day. And then we can... Oh, it's Ged. Hey. Uh, Riley didn't move off top rope. She would. <laughs> she would, and it's scary. Uh, when I was little, all I wanted to do was drive, and I was convinced if I didn't, if I did it well enough, everyone would let me. I love that. That's great. All right. Community. Yep. Optional community now Thank because you. getting up to level four community is required to beat the game. Like, we can just go beat the game. I mean, there's still a little bit of extra stuff. There's still, like, uh, a, like a whole different area to explore. Um. So, there's still that. But, like, there's still a little bit more to do story-wise. But there's still a lot to do in terms of the community. So. Uh, that'll be it for today.
Laura's right here, Riley. And let us... I'm getting zoomed in on Laura here. There we go. All right. Yeah, that'll be it for today. Um, uh, next week, uh, for Torna, we're probably just gonna do more side questing. We can probably get this wrapped up in two more streams, is my best guess. Depending on how long we go next week. <laughs> it's all gonna depend. Uh. Okay, get your hydrate, Riley. Um... But we have like 16... How many community to the next level again? I immediately forgot. 14. 14 to our next community level. And there's still more after that, surprisingly enough. Um, so... And we did quite a bit today, too. Um, so we'll probably work on more community. Probably, like, just do everything. So, uh, yeah. I'd say at least two streams is my best guess for Torna. Um, but yeah, schedule for the week. Uh, tomorrow, I need to set up a Discord poll uh, for characters for our story mode for Mario Party 4. Uh, but, uh, yeah, tomorrow, story mode Mario Party 4. Uh, Wednesday, we come back to Galaxy 2. Uh, Thursday, we start uh, the quarry. I am uh, anticipating it's going to take three streams because Until Dawn took three streams. Um, so we're going to start our run of the quarry on Thursday. Uh, Friday we come back to Galaxy 2. Uh, Thursday and Friday will start at 1 p.m. Central Time because uh, there's no school. It's parent-teacher conference time, so that'll be fun and interesting. Um... And Monday, yeah, Monday's in the Chronicles 2. Tuesdays and Thursdays will be Mario Party slash The Quarry. Wednesdays and Fridays um, will be uh, uh, the Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for sharing me. Most expensive day ever. I feel that, and I I hope your wallet recovers. 30 more minutes. I don't wanna. I, I'm, I don't wanna. It's my stream. I can do what I want. In the parking lot one time. <laughs> she distracted me too. Well, I appreciate that. Pick up toys, Riley. All right. Uh, sometimes it gets you through the day. I get it, man. Yep, totally get it. Yep, and we're gonna go raid none other than I am Royal Blue. Me and we're gonna tell her all about the gin scene she missed. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, what should I read? Is it mandatory? Oh, no, that's not how you spell please. Man. Wow, I can. Oh, it's. it's uh... Why well, can hit that key? Because I, I don't. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Mandatory side quest, please. Because she'll know what we're talking about. Uh, you can have whatever emotes you want. And we add the please because Riley loves the... Loves the please. I I need to end before I lose my mind with my child. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go right to I Am Royal Blue. She is awesome. A lion VTuber. She's amazing. An awesome mod. Um, so yeah. Uh, tomorrow, my Pray 4. Wednesday, Galaxy 2. Uh, Thursday, the quarry. We're gonna do a, a special run. Gonna go for one of the trophies in the game. At least go for one of them and hope for the best. Uh, and then Friday's Galaxy 2. And Thursday and Friday, we start at 1 p.m. Central Time. So thank you everyone for coming out and hanging out. And we will see you next time. Seconds, the beginning and the end uh -huh. But if in time it's yesterday Your picture's gonna bring it home to me again The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door uh -huh. And if it's not enough I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store 
wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights I'm